How's it going, guys? I am back with MLB The Show 21 on the Xbox Series X, continuing the Pirates franchise on All-Star Difficulty. And we are on Season 2022, Game 4, about to face the Braves. And good deal. Chat is up, and I see you guys are tuning in. Welcome. What's up, guys? Hey, Nick. What's up, buddy? Fast as lightning. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the Pirates look like. They are definitely a good team. We have the rookie on the mound that we drafted. Let's see what he looks like. And, uh, yeah, everything looks good. Facing a righty, so no Desmond yet. So, all right, this looks good. Here we go. Ba -ba Boom. Hey, Zachary, what's up, buddy? More MLB, I love it. <laughs> we are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Atlanta Braves. Here we go. First time facing it's the Braves. Baseball. It's the show. Ian Anderson. Oh, Ian Anderson. The, the last season he was 15 and 8 with just under a 4 ERA. Today? So he's hittable. Hey, a look at the numbers, you see that ERA a little But not terrible numbers. A whip almost I think his team at a 1.4, which is pretty high. We'll see what happens. Here we go. Braves are ready. Pirates are ready. And let's do it here in Atlanta. First pitch is the strike, and we are underway. Yeah, Maddie, for me today, the key to winning this ball game begins and ends on the mound. And it has to be early on the attack getting 0-1. You can't allow these guys to get wow. He just came after me. That was a perfect curveball. Definitely wouldn't do anything with that. I thought that was going to be slightly low. Alright, hey. Good pitch. <laughs> Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Corey Seager comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Not a bad night to bring the parka along. 54 degrees at game time. Good change up. <laughs> Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher. Acuna is there now, and he has it two gone. Now with the plate, Joey Robbins. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's inside. 2-0. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. It swung on and hit in the air. The line Gonna let that one go. It, it was a strike, but it was a little too inside. I wasn't looking in. So not much happening here in the Darn. top half of the first. And out. Hey, the rookie. Right-handed native of the Dominican Republic will be the can do. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with a little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Look at the rookie. He's like, I'm going to get the ball. One time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. A ball and a strike now to the Atlanta leadoff man. Zero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the back. Mm -hmm. The back door slider. <clears throat> here now the 2-2. Two -two. Not where I wanted that one. Pops it up. At least it wasn't in a bad spot. No one will get this one. Um, ball stick curve. Chop weakly to the left. Here's 
Here now the 2-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Goodwin arranged to his left. Hey he Alex, what's up buddy? In left center for the first down. How many games do I play? So I'm going to start playing one game per series. So one down, so, no one the first forward. season, I was like, well, let's just see what the franchise has to offer this year. So, since now we got to see offseason and all that, now we can just first play ball. Just hope to get better. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards uh -oh. left Goodwin's in My outfielder had a bad read. The ground will double. Luckily, it didn't matter, but. Well, my outfielders do suck dick out there. They don't know how to play defense. <laughs> gonna see a lot of that. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Hmm. Won't offer it what looked to be the circle change. Three and one. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he just Ooh, pitch around the wow. put him on Perfect. first. Thinker. That was generous call though. He's gonna attack this hit. Uh okay. Kinda don't know what the put away pitch is for this rookie, you know. Okay. I don't think it's the fastball. He doesn't really throw that hard. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that that cool. pitch, but he didn't. Oh no, it's gonna be several years, Alex. I mean, I'm a I'm a freaking middle school team. We picked up Corey Seager, which is a big. Uh, that's a big uh, addition, but I mean, and I had a good draft. So, you know, those, those rookies aren't ready yet. You know what I mean? They're getting their feet wet this year, and probably for the first couple of years until they actually improve, like really get good. And my pitching does suck a lot of dick. I uh, didn't pitch bad against the uh, Cubs. Uh, you know, that could have been a fluke. Right now, the Braves are uh, giving me a beat down this first inning. And, and, you know, they have really good bats. I mean, here's another dangerous hitter, Ozuna, like these. Can't really catch a break with this lineup so far. Yeah, I jammed him. Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, he's going to challenge my arm. Yeah. I'm glad my outfit was able to get it. They're pretty slow out there, and they're not good on defense. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a one <clears throat> count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Rookie's all over the place. Full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. So you would expect out of first. a rookie, especially getting beat up early on. Here's the three and two. Liner okay. towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. So it's two runs on two. The Braves have a really good lineup. Oh yeah, left. they're they're definitely the top a top five offense, two. I think. Braves lead this one two to nothing. They they have a lot of good hitters. So stepping in is Nelson Cruz. He'll get us started in the top of the second. In fact, they were definitely one of the best last season on here. So yeah, they they have a top offense. Even though it's early. First offering. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. And he lays 
off the pitch down and away. Ball two. The 2 1 home. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for that. That's a ball. In. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Eight in. That's a ball, though. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he That's laid good. off some really tough oh, pitches good. and got a walk. Oh, yeah. Come on, good one. You gotta step up. up. Ready to deal. Here comes the. There you go, motherfucker. A Perfect the time. Field. Hey, good, good win. One of my middle schoolers. Hit that hard, too. The sound off the hour. bat. That's 110 miles an hour. There you go. There you go. And here's another middle schooler. So now it's Brian Reynolds. Here comes the kindergartner. <laughs> <laughs> At least the middle of my order has got some good pop, but, you know, no now ice. we're going to run into some wussy hitters here. <laughs> 2 0 count to the Bucks center fielder. It has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Good pitch. This guy's got pretty good stuff. <clears throat> that is a pro pitch right there. 2 0 curveball for a strike. Make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. All even now, 2 and 2. First and second here with nobody out. Right about I was looking line. down, man. Ozuna that changeup was yummy to hit, but you know, I was just fortunate. I mean, it was a changeup. If, if it was a fastball, I probably would have swung and missed, base. but man, I had to look down, man. I shouldn't really look up more often on my zone. So here is Brett Rowley. Yeah. Come on, Brett. Now here's the first off. Our second round pick right here. For those of you new. Yeah! And that is through in the center field, the base hit. Whoa! And he is in there. What the fuck happened? You know, I, I don't I don't like the base running in this game. What? I feel like the controls are different. What the fuck happened? Why didn't he go home? Brett should have had his... Well, he got his first career hit, but he should have had his first career RBI. Man, fuck this base running bullshit. That base running is actually kind of pissing me off in this game. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. All right, come on, Trevor. Man, should have been on the board. Having a good inning. Piece of shit base running nonsense. Has to be Xbox. I, I bet uh, PS5, it's, it's different, you know? It's probably how it should be. Step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. So two balls and two strikes now. <laughs> you guys are laughing. <laughs> Nothing's going right in Pittsburgh. <laughs> A hanger, but I know I missed it. Should have been on the board, though. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Justin. Did they fix the schedule? Well, okay, so year two, I'm facing the American League Central only. So we'll, we'll see the next year if it'll be a different division. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll get a PS5 then. <laughs> The right fielder. Aaron. <laughs> I swear, you know, I bitch about my team hits like a bunch of girls. They actually get some hits now. I bitch about them fucking running base pass. I bitch about the pitching. What's next? Now I'm going to bitch about the defense. <laughs> that shit's coming. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> fucking pirates. How do you bastards win games? <laughs> 
Yeah, he just isn't that but we're not the only dick sucking well team in the, the league. And that's that is true. There are some the teams that pick nuts, second. but some adjustments need to be made. Pirates fast. are bad. Got his two fastball, but he was way behind. Two and one. They're gonna be like the Cleveland Browns in football. They'll, they'll like never be good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, Browns, uh, they probably will start becoming a really good team. But you know what I mean, like historically. <laughs> But that was a good sign, though. That was, that was some really good hitting there. Now, if I can figure out the base running bullshit. Maybe I should just leave it on auto. Just, just fuck the base running, you know? You know what? I, I'm going to. Because really, I, I the base running I give up with. I that's the one thing I give up with. Uh, where would it be? Right here, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna put it on auto. You know, I I, I don't understand. I even tried the classic, you know, and the the default, and I I don't know. I don't freaking get it, man. It has to be an Xbox thing. I I don't. I don't understand. I, I it's like I get the controls, but there's something gimmicky with it. I don't know. Hey, you know what? Nelson Cruz tried. <laughs> Just don't hurt yourself. Browns have your favorite QB, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I don't like that guy. You know what? I I'm going to be that jerk and say the Browns will never win because they have him as their QB. Browns have an amazing team right now. But because they have Baker Mayfield, they ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna get masked in this one. <clears throat> I feel confident though. I think we're gonna score some runs though. Should have scored in that second inning. Fouled off. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. <laughs> Just inside. Not by much. It's two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up. My rookie. Battles. Doesn't take any pitches. The dick out of your mouth. Grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Would you rather have Baker or Jimmy G? Uh, Baker's better than Jimmy G. You know, the, the Niners should have beaten the Chiefs, you know, in that Super Bowl. It's one of the, you know, like, guys like Jimmy G, they may look like a decent player statistically, but when you actually need them in a big game, they're just one of those players. Like, they... they they show their true colors. They're not a winning player, you know? It's kind of like Alex Rodriguez. Like, he put up great numbers. But when you needed him, when it really mattered, he sucked dick. Except for that one World Series. He actually showed up. It took him like 20 years, but he did it. But you know what I mean. There, there's a lot of players like that. Like, they're really good, but in a high-pressure clutch situation, like the big moment, like the difference between the pros and the Joes sort of thing, that's how I look at Jimmy G. He's not a winner. He's not a bad player, but if you're trying to, like, win championships, he's not your guy. And then there's, uh, people are going to think I'm talking shit. Then there's people like Eli Manning. He's just an average player, maybe above average at best. But he he's, has proven in a uh, high-pressure situation, he, uh, 
nothing phases him, you know. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. The 1-2. They're going to get another run. <clears throat> and 5 nothing, man. This is a really good hitting team. Probably go to the bullpen soon. Just letting my rookie get his feet wet. But Oof. Not looking good for him. This is kind of like unfair for the poor rookie. I mean, he's facing one of the best lineups in baseball. You know? Kind of a little... Kind of shitty for the rook. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold strike. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a But see, I'm glad to see this because the Braves should, like, because my pitching's not good. Like, they should do, like, top offenses like this, they should do this to me, you know? Where, like, the Cubs only allow two runs, so. It's not like this happens every game. Popped up. Hayes. But when I do face a top offense so far with his bad pitching, oh yeah, I'm giving up runs, rightfully so. So that, you know, everything makes sense, you know, there. Just sucks getting your ass kicked, you know. That's part of being a bad team. You gotta suck it up until we get good. My, my relief. Oh, we got him! Oh, my shitty outfield got you, motherfucker! <laughs> no, like, uh, my relief. No one left on base. Uh, through they this full. dreadful uh, time of stuck in, it's just make fun of your team, <laughs> you know. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. All right, here we go. Hey, there's that catcher that can't hit. Got great defense. I think it was Jones that mentioned that in the comments. He's like, your catcher got to go, man. Yeah, he's got great defense. Can't hit though. <laughs> True. This guy is carrying himself with like all those other pirate players. This still blows my mind. Pirates have all this defense, and then they can't hit, they can't run. Insane to me. Executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're gonna oh, yeah, this pitcher is hittable. That pitch, you have to Showed that last the inning. He's got to be patient with this guy. Staying yeah, right. like I think he's legit. But he's one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Just an but uh, you know he is hittable. Right staying on the inner half of that baseball right Second there. Base. Staying to <clears> it. <and throat> not coming around it and able to drive it. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. All right, hopefully the game knows how to run the base pads. Hey, MLB, what's up, buddy? Ooh, low strike. I will say, he's getting some generous calls. I know my rookie has not been getting those borderline calls. I think Seager is going to have a great year with us. I've had already some really good at bats with him. Ooh, that was a good pitch. I couldn't do much with that. That was, that was a good pitch, too. I had to protect the play. That was a strike. All right. I mean, that was Nothing just two good for... change-ups there. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Matt, I oh, had a hi. chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at the they're putting together. Not only the have they already field. put up a bunch of runs Ronald, on the board, but they've Acuna. also made the opposing Junior. starter work very hard. His pitch count is high, so it seems they'll be getting into the bullpen sooner. Yeah, I probably will go to the bullpen soon. Just trying to give this rookie some innings. See if he can eat some, you know. Nothing in two count and the pitch. 
swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. Marcelo Zuna comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Line drive, base hit down the line. That's really hit. Throw into second. He just blasts this thing down the left field line. Now All right. I, it yeah, I think the rookie foul. has taken enough punishment. And he's able to leg it out for a double. Him up. Good looking swing. Actually, no, me warm up the long reliever since it's only in <laughs> third inning. I have a mound visit. <clears throat> now, time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Poor little rookie. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Well, after seeing this, I don't think his C potential is going to improve. <laughs> Grounder down the line at third. On a foul ball, one and one. And it's fouled away. And a pitch down the slot. <clears throat> Oh, they picked the. I just realized that. Yeah, they have Aaron Hicks. Anybody just noticed that? He had a double on me. He, he's sucking dick in real life, just like most of the Yankees. They better, they better uh, show up today. The way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find the zone, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. To one and two now. He's set, now the pitch. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Down the first baseline. And a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Oh, right to me. All right. Yeah, that's probably it for the rookie. <clears throat> Eli was clutch, Hall of Famer. Yeah. It's really hard for him not to. I mean, you think about it, like, he is top 10 all time in yards, touchdowns as well. Yeah, he's up there in interceptions. I'm not going to say he hasn't made bonehead mistakes, but. You know, you look at his playoff numbers, they're pretty good, though. I mean. And he, I mean, it wasn't easy, those two Super Bowls. He literally beat, like, the best of the best. Both of those uh, years. That's taken now, and oh. it's 2-0 and to the Pirates shortstop. Three and oh now. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. Taking all the way, and that's what you call a plausible strike there. It's three and one now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Am I going to get the vaccine? You know, believe it or not, I I've heard some horror stories with that, so I don't mind being like the last person. To get it, uh, just to be real. So, I'm patient First with that. On its way. Robbins gets his lead at first, nobody out. And he takes this one high, one and one. There you go. Good job, Auto Run. Room, room, room. It's a little Got Robbins. See if I can get a uh, good 2 1 count or 2 1 pitch here to hit. To be Might work out if they can drive him in now and actually did. Of course, I was late. I can go. Gotta get good. I should have done something with that. Robbins tagged. Cool. 
Let's score this run. Like I said, I should, uh, for those of you tuning in, I should have scored in the second inning. Had a nice ending going, and base running pissed me off, so I put it back on auto. The base running, I don't know. I don't understand that. There's something weird going on with that. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take good pitch. <clears throat> one and two now. All right, come on, uh, good hey, one. You got to put it in play. Don't be a little bitch. Right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. I'm going to really shorten my Breaking swing on this just contact four, only. I just want to put it in play strikes. for Robin four. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far. Get, get on the board here. Yeah, like if I didn't do that, I probably struck out right there. <clears throat> He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitches second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Not tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Looks to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. <laughs> It's a good pitch to swing at. I probably could have gotten a better swing, but I was really shortening my swing on the contact. I just wanted to put it in play. I didn't want to strike out. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't strike out. Because okay. Goodwin is one of those hitters I do not trust. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we should have a couple runs. At least we're, uh, we're doing what we should be doing. I mean, our lineup has improved. But yeah, we're still going to suck dick. This, you know, this guy's getting some generous strikes. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. 2 and 2 the count. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. 3 and 2. I'm also trying to improve my discipline, taking more pitches. I know that was my problem before. I was being a little too aggressive. My hit was. We're too shitty for that. Got work the walk. One that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a wall. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Next to hit Brett Rowley. He singled in his first. I decided to take a power rip there with two outs. That was way late on that. Bad. It's nothing in one. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. Looked like he was trying to dial nine, but when you're down by four runs early in the game, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Here it comes on one and one. Yeah, this guy, I mean, he is hittable. He's got to be patient. Now that pitcher that I faced against the Cubs, I hated that guy. That guy had really good break. His changeup is ridiculous. This guy is pretty generic. He's all about his command. Two-two. Here it is. Yeah, I like that. He made a really good pitch. Throw the first beats him easily, and the side is retired. So they scratch across a run here on no hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and set to go is the third. All right, rookie. Austin Your night is done. Jesse Biddle answers the call from the pen here in the fourth, as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. First pitch of the AB on its way. <clears throat> Hit the other way out toward right field. 
the Braves, man, they can really hit. <clears throat> Wish I had their lineup. There's the poor rookie. Three innings, seven hits, five runs, one walk, two strikeouts. Out. <laughs> <laughs> He's officially a pirate. You could see right from the get go, he just didn't have it in this one. Lasting only three innings. Okay. Oh, you can tell those are great. He struggles he catching those balls. <laughs> you see that attempt? I thought he was going to drop it. He's going to drop some. You know he's going to. I was laughing. 41 year old out there. That's good, though. Two quick outs. Find a way to pull a trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Oh, oh God, don't challenge him again. Right <laughs> I mean, that was a tough play, but just, just watch and him. You can tell he sucks. <laughs> Oh man, poor Nelson Cruz is getting challenged out there. <laughs> hey, buddy, 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 where'd you get Nelson Cruz? Don't want his bat. <laughs> I, like, I like how he gave up on it too when he realized he couldn't catch it. He's like, man, I run like two miles per hour. You think I'm gonna get it? Alright, well, anyways, that was, that was funny. It sucks, but it's funny. <laughs> Take strike one on the fastball here. No balls oh, and a strike. This is how I, ha this is how I uh, have fun when my team sucks, man. Make fun of your guys. I get some good amusement sometimes. But he can hit. I'll tell you, he is a monster hitter. No damage done. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Derek Shelton during the commercial break about the Pirates offense and flat. All right, come on, Trevor. Pleased with the quality of their at -bats. Hmm. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to oh, They're actually warming up their bullpen. The All right, thanks, Heidi. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. The 2 1 home. There you go. Now if only we can actually field. hit the ball harder than a freaking single, you know? It was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more now than back. confirms it. 111 Jeez. miles an it, hour. It's swing, though. I mean, it was right down the middle. Perfect timing. Now, if only we had the power to launch him, that's the problem, you know? To the plate now, Jacob Stallings. He will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Big slow breaking ball, one that drops in for a strike. Stallings is widely considered one of the elite backstops in the game, of course. The skills behind the plate are well documented, and in a position like catcher, that makes a big difference for his team every night he straps it on. And for obvious reasons. And he allows the pitching staff to throw any pitch, any pitch. Yeah, I don't like my catcher. He's definitely like a guaranteed out. Ooh, someone's got caught leaning there. And another throw over. And late reactions, and they got him. Well, he got you that time, Trevor. Right-handed pickoff move is really all about the footwork, and that was nice. He got his feet all the way. I don't know why. Yeah, I just saw that coming because he he almost really caught you the first time. For an accurate throw to the inside of the bag, that and it was real quick too. Hot shot. Well, it would have been a double play anywhere. And you know, I will say I've had issues hitting with Hayes. You know, I'm just hoping he just continues to improve. You know.
we still have our big hitters next inning. Guys that can actually hit. He was thrown out at second, trying to stretch a base hit, and he doubled his last at bat. Ready. Yeah, fellas, not sure if he Three got the go ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did, but it looked like he was running in mud right there. The 0 1 pitch. Sliced oh, jeez. Heads up down there. He just had to Hayes couldn't up. handle it. Come on, dude. That was a wicked bounce. Come on. <laughs> hey, Frank, what's up, buddy? Yeah, this is next season. Uh, I decided to sim majority of it just to see if off season was different, and uh, it was a little different, but mainly the same. Yeah, people just really wanted to see it. That and I was okay with it. Cause the team was so bad. I think this year will be better. We're still gonna suck dick, but it'll. Uh, He'll go after the first pitch and it'll, it'll be better. At least we have some bats. He's one for two in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Had a good laugh though watching Nelson Cruz play some defense. It's a 5 1 <laughs> game here in inning number five. Uh, that'll be a long season for him out there. <laughs> Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because it hit a really nice. Not down. where I wanted that curveball. That's probably gone. And drive to deep left. And Barely over the wall. Man, these, these pirate man, pirate. These Braves can hit, man. God. Don't want to make mistakes to these guys for sure. It's a two-run shot to straight Especially away him. left. Second home run Tuna. early in the year as it's now a six-run ball game. <laughs> And if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on the fastball. Some fireworks. Fireworks are pretty. I do like fireworks. Be mad about anymore, unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He doubled his last time through. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Strike two is the hang. Yeah, don't make, was making go. mistakes here, dude. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that. Yeah, the hitter was too busy laughing, probably. Got away with a hanger. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. <laughs> He's like, man, this pitch sucks. Nope, sure does. Yeah, he's really hanging him a lot. I kind of like this guy's stuff, but he's hanging him way too much. I got the last lap, Ozuna. <laughs> it's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that if that was a good indication for me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him before the strikeout. Oh one, here's the pitch. Tops this one up. Rowley in foul round. And this is gonna wind up a foul ball. Ready with the 0-2. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Into the corner and slicing foul. Okay. And he fouls this one off. Here he comes again, 1-2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work. Definitely working the air. Payoff pitch one more time. Fouled off. I don't know if my long reliever is going to go much further here. The next three, two. Well, he helped me out there. He would have walked. I do like the break on that breaking ball. He just hangs it a lot. Oh, why you Nick? There you go. I see you have him and Corey Seager. Yeah, Seager's a beast. And you know what's even better about that? He can't kill me anymore. <laughs> yeah, Trevor Story was a free agent. But, uh, yeah, he wouldn't sign with me. Kind of figured as much. <clears throat> uh, 
Or should I warm up? I don't know if it even matters. Bullpen's gonna be busy today. First pitch of the AB on its way. At least I improved the bullpen. Uh, at least I'm on exactly 60s that. in there. At least not yet. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at two and two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four yeah. pitches. Oh, a lot of pitches. Come on, Riley. You can do it. You can do it. No, you can't. With the curveball, bit too much break, and it's ball four. What's the saying? When you find yourself have a mound visit. The first thing you should do is stop <clears> digging. Basement. Well, the guy on the bump obviously yeah. hasn't heard that one. Kicks and deals. Austin Riley is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad back barrel hackers. Rowley has room in foul right. territory. And he makes the play. To this team can really hit. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this. You definitely don't want to have a bad pitcher on the mound versus the Braves. The second base and now the first pitch. Corey Seager is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Oh. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. And wow, a very yeah, he's been getting strike, some generous calls. That should have been ball two. I am seeing the ball pretty well on this guy. I mean, he's pretty basic as far as his stuff. It's all about his uh, placement. I don't think he's a bad pitcher, but he is definitely hittable, as his whip showed. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Did well just to Barely make got a piece of that. There as he spoils that was a good changeup. Change here now the 2 2. There another Shopper good changeup. Swanson picks it up. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So next to hit is Joey Robbins. First delivery to him. I had the power swing. Almost beat it. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Next to bat the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Nelson Cruz. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. Oh, Drive man. it out of the yard this AB. Behind Those pitches away two. sometimes. I uh, lose sight of them if they're going to be a ball or a strike. Two That's out, clearly a strike. On. Not looking there. Back with a right, no. that, was, that was a good pitch. I totally over. guessed wrong out of that. Alright. Next pitcher. Here's the first pitch to him. Just a tick behind for a strike. Fouled away. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. Fast there we ball. go. Swung on and missed for the first down. Now, is any of you guys nice playing the show on the Series X? And if so, have you had any troubles with the, the hitting, like on the high difficulty, or? Uh, the base running. I, uh, base running, I can't figure out. And that'll bring the best show on the auto. Top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's 
He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 0 1, here's the pitch. And there's ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1. But now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. 3 2 pitch. This is lined in the left field. <clears throat> And I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters no of all time. Seven. Work on his Short craft stop. under the tunnel. It's Dance not me. easy to put the time in, but bottom line. Oh, should you play all 162 games? The ability to work the whole field. Clearly, he's been hey, that's that dedication. Work. I did it a couple right times. Did it with the Reds, the White Sox. I think that was it, right? He's did it twice. One for three thus far. Just takes several months. It is fun to do, and you know, both times I did it, you know, my stats were very realistic. That tells you, how, you know, great the show has always been. Now into the box, the first baseman number five, singles to his credit thus far. Now the first season with this Pirates team, I wouldn't want to know what my 162 game season stats would look like. Like. You could steal that first strike and now you go not good. Definitely be uh, one of the worst. <clears throat> this year, I think, would be a little different. I, I think I'd be potentially top five worst, but I think we'll do damage every now and then if we can face a bad enough pitcher. Still have some pussy hitters in this lineup, especially at the back of it. But at least we have some good power in the, the middle of the pack. Seager, Robbins, and uh, Nelson Cruz can still hit, but he is just power. His contact's not that good anymore. He's really just power, but, you know, he was cheap. So, I was like, I'm, I'm going to take him. A good job to shorten up and, and then Desmond the has a lot of power versus lefties, but that's it. He sucks at everything else. <laughs> Be curious what he looks like once we face two. a lefty. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. <laughs> Brave strand one. They're on top seven to one. Yeah, that's kind of what I've noticed. Uh, that's really what I've noticed. And I feel like they, I, I feel like they tweak the hitting. And kind of, I, I see where they're going with that, if they really did. But, you know, like, I remember even back then, like, when I was the Reds. And, you know, like, uh, the White Sox when I did the full 162. Like, my weak hitters, yeah, the, overall, they only hit, what, like a low to a mid-200 average. And that's what you would expect, right? Um, but, you know, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just made sense. The, the, the quality of the at-bats and the, uh, the contact and whatnot, how balls would land and not land with those uh, weaker hitters. On here, I feel like it's just not a winning battle. But I did some tweaking, and uh, I think I fixed it. Now, granted, still these weaker hitters, it still suck. Don't trust them, but it should make a little more sense with a bad reef. That was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up Brian Reynolds. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Now the 2 0. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Count even at two and two. Late on that one. <clears throat> Into the windup and the pitch. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. I got a piece of that. He took a lot off on that slider. Right off the catcher's arm. 
If I had a little more break, he would have struck me out. <sighs> Not gonna lay off that. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief out. No problems for But the way this game is going, yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. I should have a couple of runs though. Uh the base running screwed me over in the second inning. I don't know how many hits I have right now, but uh it's feeling more uh like it should. I think I have everything fixed. It's just the base running I put on auto. I don't understand that bullshit. By getting a, a good jump. Oh, almost got a hit. Darn, he robs the hit. Yeah, how many hits do I have? Well, I only have four. But, like, I've had some pretty good at-bats. I'm just facing a really good team. I can't wait to face a team, like, that sucks as much dick as me. And, and then we'll see. The Braves are a very good team. The starter was hittable, and I did get on base quite a few times with him. But uh, he's still not a bad pitcher. I still have a lot of holes in this lineup. But the lineup's looking way more promising because of those two uh, good draft picks. You know, Brett and Trevor. They're just not ready yet. They're not good hitters yet. Kemper, I forgot to warm up another pitcher. A warm up Robertson. Who knows, he may be able to give me two innings. He's at 20 pitches, though. Is taken for ball we'll see. Two. When you're down six on the mound, you've got it. He has good energy right now. <clears throat> and this is a call His umpire has been very inconsistent. Like I like it, but yeah, they're, they're pitching and getting those calls, too. Dang it. To third. Leap, but he can't Could have went away. Way out in front. Have been strike three. Nasty Give it to me, damn right umpire. He was able to just catch the corner a little bit. He would have picked up that backwards K. Reynolds is there to put it away, and the That's runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So the next to bat will be Aaron Hicks. Let's have a mound visit. Go to the bullpen. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Robertson. I tweaked the timing of the hitting a little bit because I think I don't know like because it made no sense I figured because you guys mentioned that you go well maybe just tweak the timing slightly and the contact just one up and right now I'm noticing the difference where I think it's how it sh I mean that's what I'm used to uh, you know, with the older versions. Like I said, I think they just ramped up the difficulty for the hitting. I don't know. But, you know, I still only have four hits, but, you know, my bats are looking more legit. But when we face a bad pitcher, I, I think we'll, with this lineup, we should have a, a decent offensive uh, day, which would make sense. As a look, now the pitch. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. Three and two now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One left for Atlanta. They're on. Gregory. Leading off the inning, it'll be Trevor Gregory. And they could use a spark from him here. First pitch on its way. Ah. I didn't want to swing at that. Blows the fastball by him for strike one. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot I was going to say, this pitcher I'm facing, he's a good pitcher, right? 
Freeman. And foul ground. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. That was a good pitch to hit. Liner toward the gap in left center. See, and that's, see that's the difference I was going to say. Before, that shit would not land. It would just be like a, a weak fly. But it's like a hanging curve. You got to... And my timing was good, and I know I was on it on the zone. I was like, yeah, that that's that's a legit hit. That's what you do with those kind of pitches right there. And I'm glad he wasn't able to cut it off. It was out of his reach. But that was a legit hit. So I think I think I fixed it. Yeah, because I mean, well, hold on. Well, I'm not gonna move my camera because I think my camera's blocking where my zone, my uh, contact indicator is. I mean, I was on point. That was a legit hit. Into the box now, Jacob Stallings, and that misses ball one. But yeah, that that was like my. Con complaint before it felt like those hits would not land no matter how good the timing was and even the contact circle and i was like i'm off with that but i think i did fix it yeah, even though it's my fifth hit it's it's I, i'm not really complaining Yeah, you can walk this catcher. He can't hit with a flip. I can't tell you there's no, there's no uh, prayer for this piece of shit. What a good defense, Joey. I can catch. You may be forced hey, to like swing the bat, motherfucker. Oh my god, you got a hit. I mean, it was a good pitch to hit. He's a change it down the middle. All right. I mean, you want to talk about nobody out. Runners at the corners. Let's maybe score a run or two. Top of the order. So the batting order turns over now. Hey, Joey, a good hit. Grounded out in his last at bat. And no watch one miss up and away for a ball one and all. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Yeah, you you know what? Walk him because Seager's on deck. Oh man, this is a the big boys are coming up. He's shaky right now. Two men on, and now you got a 2 count. I'm not swinging. Walk him, please. Walk him. From the belt, the pitch. A high fastball is in there. I wonder if I should just take another pitch. I'm only going to swing if it's down the middle. He, he may throw it down the middle. 3 1 count. You still have to try to Let's make see. a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the nope. way. Here it is ball four. Easy to lay off. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Oh, oh. I think he was trying now to you're be my a bitch. little too fine there, and a walk is now the result. Bad. Well, the good news is now you're my bitch. Now I have a hitter that can hit. He's zero for three. Drives in a couple of runs, but here's Corey Seager. God, come on, let's have the ending of. Pirates history. Wheels and deals. Here's I don't give him that. Pitch. That was a good pitch. So of course, you make a good pitch. That's why Zeger is 0 for 3. Situation. He's been dealing so with some good pitching. Any harder by falling behind in the count. <laughs> and this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. One and two as he chases the slider. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate. No place to put me, motherfucker. Robinson smirking like, well, we're going to get this motherfucker. He's ready. Now the payoff. He 
got the low call. He had to make a perfect pitch. Mother... I mean, Seager didn't really have anything to hit. I mean... All right. What can you do that to Robbins? All it takes is one boo-boo pitch. Again, two and oh. Throw it down the middle. Nowhere to put anybody. Yo, I won't, won't be your bitch. I won't give in. Two and one after I mean, that was a strike. Wanted that a little higher. Oh my god, I missed it. That was a pitch. Nah. Hold on that. God damn it, because I was thinking change up. Ah. I mean, I do way off. Yeah, they're going to have to stay. Challenge pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and a comebacker. This could be big. They get the force at the plate. On the first, it's a double play. As the rows continue, the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. You know, I give the fuck up. <laughs> You know what? No, no. Me and my team, we suck dick. That bitch was like, hey, dude, who's the bitch now? Alright. It's a step to the right direction. First offering on its way. The O one pitch. <laughs> you guys are probably dying <laughs> like damn. <laughs> uh, and he wasn't gonna hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action. Guys, yeah, I swear, if I if I if this was if I was the manager of this team in real life, I, man, I'd be in the clubhouse like, guys, seriously, we suck dick. We like no, we suck big dick. You don't even have a clue how much dick you guys suck. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, it's okay. Hey, you know it's a step to the right direction. I, I think we're getting better. Uh, that pitcher just got lucky. He, he did make well, except for that fastball. And I I missed that one. But he he did pitch really well to Seager and Robbins. Otherwise, it was a full count, and I couldn't just take that pitch because it could have been strike three. It was too close to take. Man, it just sucks. He did make a good pitch there. First pitch coming. Here it is. Um, still an epic fail. I had the right hitters up. Pitcher just made the, the right pitches. Oh, that was a good pitch. His umpire is very inconsistent, though. You don't know what the baller is like. Have I traded for anyone? Uh, no, I haven't. The only trades I'll accept is, uh, is, like, if I'm offered a trade by a team. First mistake, Pirates never load the bases. That's true. That was the problem. My team was like, what do we do? We have bases loaded, nobody out. Holy shit, I don't know what to fucking do. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Inning begins as the first pitch is taken oh, wow. for ball one. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. 
all over the place to start tonight. This well, I'm gonna, no we need base runners. I'm well, going to take. He was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off. <clears> and four pitch walk. Into a count. Man, this yeah, I wonder if Robbins would have walked on that full count. I mean, that pitch was too close to take. Well, that is I really thought he was just going to throw it down the middle, you know. But this guy is a good pitcher. Pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Next here Adam by the rope. Brian Goodwin. He's working Surprised on he's still out there. But far. isn't he initially a starter? Hold on. We may uh, pinch hit here. Because this guy's a lefty, and uh, guess what? Oh, you know what? You, well, hold on. You know what I should do? Fuck. Hold on. Something. Hold on. Again. No, you know what? I'm going to pinch hit for uh, Reynolds because he sucks. I mean, he just he can't hit worth a flip anyways, but he can't hit versus lefties at all. So that's when I'll bring in Desmond. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> so, good win. Come on. Be good, bro. First delivery to him. What a pitch to start. Right, that fooled me. There. It's nothing in one. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. The good one I know. Alright. Yeah, now we're gonna pinch it. See what Desmond looks like. He has a lot of power versus lefties. That's pretty much it. 90 power. Actually, his contact's okay. Just bad vision. If I decided to pick him up, to have that extra pop. But only versus lefties. All right, Desmond. Who knows? Maybe you'll close your eyes and get lucky. Cruz stands at first with one out. Now, the question is, did I get enough of it? He just missed it. It was close. That was almost a home run. If that pitch was a little lower, would have been more on top of that. It was just high enough where I didn't get, you know, all bad on it. I was slightly underneath it. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And that's just off the corner and low, ball two. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. I'll do it. He brings it in. Throw on the second for the horse, and the ball game is over. Wow. A nine-out save. That's three full innings. You don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy yeah, that's run in inning. open that can pitch that kind of work. 7-1, the final score in tonight's. The Atlanta Braves jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Ian Anderson gets the win on the mound. His first Overall, my bullpen did a, a good Kalero job. They kind of stopped the bleeding, you know. My starter got rocked. Him and the uh, long reliever. First of the year. But the rest of the bullpen so did their job. Not sure we had two hits. Yeah, so I mean, like, so we struck out six. We walked five, so that's good. And I'm trying to get my discipline back in order. Um, yeah, only six hits, but like, it, it's a lot better. It, it made more sense. And really, we should have a couple runs. The base running screwed me over early on. Uh, but yeah, Trevor had a double. That was really my only extra base hit. I struck them out 10. That's cool. They had a lot of extra base hits. They had one, two, three, four. They had four doubles, one triple, and a home run. <laughs> uh. Yeah, they just have really good bats. Their hitters are really good. But yeah, my team did a decent job getting strikeouts, though. Robertson, uh, out of his four outs, three of them were strikeouts. Yeah, that rookie starter, he got rocked. That long reliever wasn't any better.
Boom, boom. Yeah, no complaints there. I mean, they're way better than me. That that really makes sense. Really should be like seven to two. Whatever. I'm just mad about that base running earlier. Uh, so we have the reds next. That's the next series. Uh, yeah, we can use Keller. Or who's my other option? We just use that rookie, so we won't use him again. Yeah, we can use Keller. So that's what I'm doing for those of you uh, tuning in. Uh, one game per series. Oh. Just so we can, uh, you know, get far in franchise, you know. Otherwise, playing every game is going to take forever. Yeah, Braves just rocked my world. Their offense good Thursday good. morning to you, Show Nation. Let's jump right into one Wednesday's in baseball action. In the National League Very Central, surprising. the Atlanta Braves combined for four total home I'm facing uh, Sonny Gray, huh? He was terrible his first outing. Maybe that's a good sign for me. I have a 7-3-5 ERA. <laughs> Pitching is bad. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Look at my pitching. Terrible. <clears throat> uh, yeah, pretty much the same lineup. So, he go. Uh, actually, here, I'm going to get some more coffee. I'll be right back, guys, before we start the game. Sorry about that. I'm back. Let's go and start the game. Big boom. I decided to get a water instead. My Yankees will play in like 25 MLB minutes. The show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today is the home opener for this new season between the Cincinnati <clears throat> Reds and the Pirates. Here we go. Mitch Keller hey, tell me a failure. The opener in front of these hometown fans. Give me a good outing. And please, Zach, what do you got? I'm so okay. Hey, this guy has a four pitch repertoire, Leading right? Off, yeah, those are a lot of Cincinnati. nice options to have. You can go hard soft. Double, you can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, okay. if you can throw them for strikes, okay. you have the big advantage. And guys, as we take a look at the Pirates coming into this afternoon, they come in hoping not to fall oh, hey, Brandon. into an early season. Hole. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Oh, you subscribed yeah, today? Yeah, welcome to the channel yeah for those of you new to the channel i'm all about realism win or lose i don't try to be a hot shot or anything you know uh the reason why i pick the pirates i usually pick one of the weaker teams for the challenge and 
definitely been challenging. Uh, but I think that's part of the fun, you know. To two and two now. See how long it takes me to get this team good. It's gonna be, I think, several years. But hey, we have Corey Seager, so that's a nice future, at least for three plus years. Always tough for one of these base on We had a really good draft. Guys check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly. So they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right. So that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Kevin Kiermeyer comes on with one away as he looks at the ball. It's one and zero. Pulls this one into the air. I'll tell you what. One thing. I'm... Nelson Cruz did it. <laughs> I didn't think he had it in him. So to get his day started at the plate, Nicholas Castellanos comes in hitting just a hair below. Hey, yeah, I'm kind of curious how long it's gonna take for my pitching to it, like actually improve, especially I'm only limiting myself to one like good player sign per off season. All right, hey, this was a nice one, two, three. There we go. Change the pace. Get how long that'll last. Honey Gray. Funny how he's like good. When he was with the Yankees, he looked nuts. Inside with what looked like how it goes. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, one thing at least with him, I'm familiar with him. He's all about his curveball. Yeah, Maddie, we had He'll probably like to throw that fastball. I can't remember. I think he has really a stinker. Right now, and if they execute like yesterday, I don't see any reason why. But he actually has a good curveball. I'm gonna assume he's gonna use fastball a lot. Off the That's right. He has a slur too. Yeah. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. And he takes Where again? ball four. Mm. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And don't forget, he lost that his last second. time out, so he wants to get man. off on the right foot Holy. here. The last thing he wanted was Peter. to walk the leadoff man. First pitch of the A-B now. Corey Seager is at the plate as he watches ball one. There you go. Back up the middle. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, stay on second. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on Seager. Seager's such a good player. Great contact. Right where it came from. In now, Joey Robbins. That was a perfect pitch. That's where Sonny Gray could be very dangerous if he can actually uh, show great command with that slurve and curveball and throw those fastballs in between. Get y'all balance. I don't know, that's where he's uh, showcasing in this game. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much. I strike. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report for Darrell. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Where's that change up? That was also the first time he showed right his uh, four-seamer. He he's been using his two-seamer. No question about it. Off the end of the any other hitter probably would have struck out there. We got Robbins. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fucker. Yeah, he got me off balance. That was a good pitch, and they were strikes. Most of them. Not all strikeouts are created equal. Right I have there, to give him a little credit. It was actually really good pitching. Really made that guy on the mound yes, work for it. When you're doing that Rude. in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference. So Nelson Cruz over a 500 average. He's a uh, so far a great sign. 
Oh, out in front. Oh, I was thinking fastball. He gave me a slider. <laughs> oh, boy. You are lucky. That sure was, man. Damn. Gotta get all that, motherfucker! There you go! It's gone, motherfucker! Nelson Cruz! That's what I'm talking about. That's why I signed Nelson Cruz. He can do that. You give him a yummy cookie. Murdered that. I was like, that shit better be going right over the wall. The visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. All over that one. There we go. There you go. Let's win a game. Next bat is the plate, Brian Hold Goodman. Hey, yeah, that's the Sonny Gray I know when he was with the Yankees. That's the Sonny Gray I know. Sometimes that slur can be a little hard to read. That was a yummy pitch. Kind of fooled me. That was a good one. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seats. <laughs> Jones is like, oh my god, we're winning. Great spot on that two two fastball. Yeah, that was a good pitch to uh yeah. good one. I had my uh pitch that it's very first one that hang and slur, but it fooled me. Alright, all right, let me pay attention. That was a good pitch to hit. So yeah, that's the sunny gray I know. I think Leave him over the plate. He'll make your mistake. They're really making him work, and unless he dies, like, I'm so excited. In, like, there we go. There we go. You're not gonna push this middle school team over anymore. Not gonna push me around. Well, I don't know. Very did though. Very good. Like, phone my ass. <laughs> Okay, so if you're not like one of the best team, you're not gonna push me around. Because <laughs> that's I, don't, I hope. Having a hard time putting this hit or eight pitches right here. Definitely working on this first inning. He's not closing the door on guys, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. The three-two pitch. Of ball four. This guy's just... three runs already home here. And a four. fastball misses there. Ball four. Oh. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes and history repeats. Well, he came into this game with like a 15 year array. Jowen. Effectively wild is a pretty uh, tough Giving me some hangers. That was a fastball right down the middle. Oh my god! Run, motherfucker! Oh, ground rule double. That might have been an RBI double. Ah, oh, dang it. Nice hit, Brett. Ooh! Ooh! There's one of the disadvantages right there to the ground rule. That was almost a home run. Need a little more power, Brett. He's going to easily be able to score. But once it bounces over the fence, ah, it's only ah, third didn't base get the good part of the bat. Yeah, Dan should have took that. Looking away. Hey, we're on the board, man. Keep Sonny Gray in. He's giving me some hittable pitches. There we go. Get any of that, Reds. They're probably like, oh, Joe wants to play some motherfucking baseball. Let's play some baseball. Oh, they're going to score 10 runs on me now. <laughs> I have to remember, my pitching sucks dick, you know? I, <laughs> I shouldn't be talking shit right now. 
Oh, this is gonna get it. wind up a foul ball. <laughs> like I probably shouldn't talk shit right now. <laughs> Good breaking ball, but he missed inside with it. A ball and a strike. <laughs> Suarez brings a ton do of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right-handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing okay. back. He wants to kill it. Not the case here. Yeah, this yeah. guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards them. And that's exactly what the righty-on-right -right matchup presents itself. A two-seamer in, a four-seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. This is on the ground. Okay. There you go, Keller. Look at you. Ready now for Cincinnati, Mike Moustakis. We'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. I'll do that though. That'd be stupid. Strike, oh and one. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And it's one Mr. Keller, number one fan. So bad for that guy. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. There you go. Over the first, and that will tie with the second. All right. Reds are down in order. Still down. Let's go, Bucks. <laughs> no way, is this real Joey Robbins? <laughs> Sorry. All right, we're going to win this shit. Last half of the second set to go. go. And next to hit is the catcher, Jacob Stalin. All right, well, he's out. This, this fucker can't hit. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Maybe he can. I mean, Sonny Gray's leaving him over the plate. Swing and a miss as he pulls what am I kidding? This fucker can't hit. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, Sonny Gray gave you one. Looks wow. Like he's got that slide ball like three straight ball. sliders. Hey, he had a rough first inning, right. and now the leadoff single to that's start the second does not go well for this pitcher. Oh, that was a slur. That so slur has been breaks too much. Ryan Hayes. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Man, I really like the way this lineup is making this guy work today. You're going to see the bullpen getting going here soon. 1-1 one, one count to the Pirates' leadoff hitter. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if there you go. If he wants to walk it's any great in, sucks to nuts. And that finds its way this is what I needed. I, I needed to face a pitcher that's not all that. His eyes lit up on that one. Able to close down the line for a nice base hit. Second baseman, Next at the plate will be Corey Seager as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He collected a base hit his first time up. Ball and a strike. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. This guy's low. I didn't want to swing at that. Really good about his fastball. Two back to back. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two. In the dirt here, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Stallings on second, Hayes on at first with nobody out. Ball three, three and two now. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Payoff pitch, one more. Ah, locks him up yeah, for five. three. Mm -hmm. I was looking away. So now to the plate, Joey Robbins struck out in his last Good trip stop. to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, Robbins. especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. One and oh, the count. Two balls and no strikes. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. 
find something middle of the plate and let it rip. And here's a That's fastball for ball strike three. two and one now. First and second now, one man out. Oh, just end, late. Right that would have been a home run. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. And he misses with the base is loaded for Nelson Cruz. Hey, Trevor, what's up, buddy? You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning, but I think it's about knowing your pitcher. Do you still think the hitting is garbage? Well, I, I did tweak it a little bit uh, for the first time in my life. I adjust sliders just a little bit for the uh, timing and contact. And uh, we'll see how uh, the overall, I mean, the, the, the Braves don't, uh, only had six hits and one run against them. Even though I really should have two, the base running screwed me up. But uh, Sonny Gray is leaving him over the plate and kind of looking worse for him because, you know, obviously his confidence has got to be shitty. It also makes sense. He came into this game with like a 14 ERA. And it's showing. Uh, we'll see. Cruz awaits the 1 0. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Hitter's count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Wow, he may walk in a run. That's probably smart because we know good when he can't freaking hit. But it's far probably when you're getting yourself hitting a double play. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating. Yeah, right down the middle. It's hard for me to swing on three, you know. That's just against my religion, you know. Yeah, I, get it. I hope he throws that again. He's got to throw two more strikes. That was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Oh, and he tried to make that good pitch. Didn't do it. Walked in a run. Here's my shitty catcher. He's like, oh my god, I'm gonna score run. Sonny Gray don't look happy. They're gonna pull him pretty soon. Alright, come on, big ones. Don't you screw this up. Let's, let's open this wide open. And now the first pitch. Brian Goodwin is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Right-handers begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. Oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 oh count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Good pitch. Yeah, I want to avoid those. That would have been a double play, probably. Gray sets and delivers. The that was a good pitch to hit, but, you know, good one. He sucks. At least, he, at least, hey, it should be a sack fly. That throw was way off. Okay, hey. Can't complain. Good one sucks. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the He did something. Oh, there goes uh, Honey Gray. Ooh, it looks like the uh, the manager's laughing. He's like, oh my god, you let this team hit you? <laughs> So it's an early shower here this afternoon as this Benny Gray's like those go goddamn middle schoolers. <laughs> Alex Fagaldi is going to come on right. in relief now and he may be asked This guy has a high ERA. All right, Reynolds, you got a shitty average. Come on. Brian Reynolds will be his first Not out assignment of it. here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And he'll start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. Two down, runners at first and second. A two and zero oh count to the Bucks center fielder. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The two on. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. I was taken. <clears throat> you maybe get two pitches a game. I shouldn't have, but yeah, I don't trust him swinging the bat. Like, I'll take the free walk. Getting a lot of walks four. in this game. Red pitching is not good in this one. 
That's a big no -no. He makes it easier to hit when you're getting all these on, hitters count, you know. Really really I needed this to get my confidence up. So now into the box is Brett Rowley. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Come on, Brett. Yeah, that down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still I think feel we like missed it, though. Yeah, that was a down the middle pitch with good timing that didn't land. But, you know, I've noticed the difference. You know, my... Uh, when I when I have solid wood, they're, they're landing more realistically. That one didn't go. Going out of the top of the third, it's the Pirates five and the Reds nothing. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Aristides Aquino. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Now, if I start doing uh, like really well Next down the road, the sneaky pop of I'll, I'll probably Delmonico. put it back to Hall of Fame. Because I'm um, starting to feel like for four I really nine. fixed it. First pitch coming. Here I'm just it blown is. away. They really High ramped the difficulty a little bit. Reynolds is there, two gone. Next to hit is Elias Diaz. His prior history versus this arm. Pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry one for 11. Takes this the other way to right. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. I have to say, Keller's getting quick outs. Into the box, Tomas Vargas. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1 0. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 1 0 pitch is right there, but ruled a ball, 2 and 0. Too tight with that one, 3 and 0. It's amazing how quick an inning can get away from you. I think it's close where I wanted it, but at least it was a strike. A little single happens, and now you're down 3 0 with the chance of maybe a little two out lightning happening. To first. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and he'll step on himself, and the inning is over. The Reds lead one. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Okay, Bruce is retiring after today's game. Oh, is he? Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Well, he knew he wasn't going to, you know, play anymore with the Yankees. They pretty much announced that. It's mainly because, well, he's not hitting as uh, anticipated, which that's pretty much the whole team almost, 90% of the team. But uh, his defense has been really bad. So. That's what, that's, I think that's why we picked up Odor. Now. Because basically we got him for nothing, so it's like whatever. But I think Odor won't last either. He'll be gone soon enough. I think especially once the, uh, Luke Boyd comes back, he'll be gone. Because LeMahieu will go back to second. And, you know, Luke Boyd will be the full-time first baseman. They're talking about calling up Mike Ford, and I thought uh, Mike Coughlin. They they've been working him to be a first baseman. So I'm kind of curious if that'll happen. Coughlin's actually not a bad player. <clears throat> Down. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. Jacob Stallings. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Lined is short but gobbled up there and there are two away. The third baseman, number 13. And now here is Key Brian Hayes. 
punched on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Slider laid off for a ball. One all pitch is a splitter in there, one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Castellanos is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Down in order go the Pirates. But they hold set for the start of the inning and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next from the stretch first pitch curveball swung out and missed strike one Kiermeyer, former Tampa Bay Ray he was acquired via trade last year yeah this guy's fully settled in with this ball club right now knows what the manager and coaching staff expect hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out to deep center field not uh Kiermeyer. he's not a hitter and that's the first out no one on with one down. The right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. And they'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Count is even 1-1 one one to Nicholas Castellanos. Now a foul tip. Our Keller's doing really well. Count moves to one and two now. So early, but not doing bad. Sliced hard on the ground. And there are two Definitely uh, better than that rookie. In that break game. Maybe the Reds got worse. I don't know. They definitely don't have the lineup like the Braves do. That's just dang sure. Braves are back. Swing and a line drive. They're looking really good. Out number three. One, two, three, go the Reds. Need to get it going soon. It's five, nothing. I'm hoping uh, Sanchez's injury is not serious. So, you know, I mean, I, I do agree. Uh, I'd say what Sanchez annoys the crap out of me, man. He can hit, you know, especially for power. But he's such a bonehead with his defense sometimes. He's a real bonehead with his base running. Like... There's been a good half a dozen times. He's already screwed us over, you know, with his incompetence. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I think the Yankees are going to try to trade his ass eventually. He's just a bonehead. He's only good to, like, really hit some home runs. Pretty much it. Line toward right center. He's just not trustworthy. That's, you know, what I mean, that's how I look at him. He's not trustworthy. The batter, number three, shortstop, Joey Robin. To the plate now, Joey Robbins. <laughs> so let's take a look at a slider in the dirt, and it's ball one. Comes into this at bat, 0 for one in the ball game. This catches the outside corner, strike one. Oh, one shit, motherfucker. Can you say it? I can say it. It done, motherfucker. That felt freaking good. So a two-run homer down the line in left. First home run of the campaign for him as this lead swells to seven to nothing. You know, he's really not a bad player. Uh, he's definitely a really good backup. You want my opinion? We should have tried to trade Sanchez and held on to Austin Romine. Because Austin Romine, you know, he's a he's a good player, especially as a backup catcher. And we would have been good there for that position with that duo. Now, what do we get for Sanchez? We, we may be able to get something pretty decent. The Sanchez is still, you know, in his, what, mid-upper 20s. He can definitely hit home runs. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if he went to a team where they're like, you know what, maybe he should DH 
and, and if he was a DH only, I could see Sanchez like, you know, putting up some pretty good offensive stats. Especially probably for a bad team where there's no pressure. Like I could see him hit 40 home runs. He he has that kind of power. He's just an idiot. He he, he his base running. He has to have one of the lowest baseball IQs. Out of all, all the base, you know, all the baseball games that I've ever watched throughout my lifetime, Sanchez, I, I, he is one dumb motherfucker with his decisions. I, I don't, like, he's got the skills, he's got the talent, he's got a lot of power, he's got a strong arm, but he makes some bonehead throws when trying to gun out base runners. He screws up half the time. He, his base running, I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, you know, it's bad enough you can't run with a flip, but that's typical for a catcher. Uh, but you know what, I, I don't know, it's like, it doesn't shock me when he makes a screw up, it's, I don't know, he's kind of frustrating to watch. If, if I uh, had control of the Yankees organization, I, I would have tried to trade Sanchez. I would have tried to trade him like two years ago. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. He'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Two and oh now. Down low and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep hey, we're, uh, guys we're killing the Reds here. Someone starts attacking the zone. Not facing good pitching in this game. Ah, just long at that. That's in there, and it'll run the Looking away. Three and two. Nice right, walk me. There, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself yeah, in a hole, the first thing you, so you make me laugh. Digging, right. Talking about how bad Sanchez is. I'm just one. being honest. Sanchez is one of those like players. Like he's a good player, hypothetically. Uh, maybe statistically, but if you need him in a clutch moment, he's not reliable. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna disappoint you. He's, he, you know, and that being said, he's really not that good. First with no outs. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Oh, that pitcher got hurt. Wow. First time seeing that, actually. Unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. But for those of you that are Yankee fans and you watch every game like me, do uh, you agree, disagree with me? I'm just being honest. Like, ah, uh oh, you dumb bastards! See, that was that's what Sanchez would have done in real life. You dumb fucker. <laughs> that sucks. Next it will be He flew out in his last day being. Ready to deal. Here comes the first mm. pitch. Top it. Roller out Going on top of that. Good go opinion on Sanchez. Great little rant, rant. yeah. Hey, Bryce Howard. Yeah, no, that, that's just my honest opinion about him. Now, Judge, I think Judge really is a good player. He really is. He can play really good defense. He's got a great arm. Any, you know, people that don't watch the games, they think he's just a power hitter. No, he, he he's really an everything player. He's almost like a uh, a Trout Jr., just not as good, obviously, as Trout. But you know what I mean? As far as being able to do everything, he can run. He's got great defense, good arm. He can hit. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The judge is a really good player. Now, Torres, believe it or not, Torres is another one. I'm having mixed opinions. He's a great player for his age. 
His defense is very annoying. His arm is bad. He needs to learn how to throw a baseball. He's a really good hitter. He's really slumping right now. But he is a really good hitter. But yeah, his defense, especially his, his arm throwing. Oh my god. His arm is awful. He's made some really embarrassing throws. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shot actually cost us the game against what Baltimore actually stepping in now Mike Moustakis he swings and sends a bullet to right field and that's in there <clears> he's hit hold it second now I would hold on to Torres just because of how young he is hey, like he's such a good right player offense, but no, that's no, my only concern with him right his uh his defense. arm is horrendous in my opinion if somebody can catch a gap or maybe hit one out he got a chance to get back in this ball game we might have something here I'll tell you who's really good on the Yankees. I'm super impressed with Urshela. Urshela is a great player. I feel confident when he's hitting. Like, his overall numbers are okay as far as a hitter. But I'll tell you, when you need him the most, it seems like he comes through. He's a very he's a good player, and he's got great defense, a great arm. That's the kind of players you want on the team. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This is one and two. Now, uh, John Carlo Stan, don't get me started with that motherfucker. <laughs> Swing and miss there is the breaking ball takes that guy, that the guy. Down. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right That guy there. makes me want to pull my hair. That's why I shaved my head. Over. Not much you can do with that pitch. He set, here it comes. Delmonico. Former Chicago White Sox, who was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, <clears> and he is going to have to produce if he is going to well, get that multi-year. If we can get out of this, I feel bad. I've been kind of ranting about the Yankees <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> Some people like to hear that, though, like an honest opinion. First delivery to him. I should do like a Yankees only podcast because I have a lot to say about my team, you know, because I watch every game. I, I, I have a lot to say. Pros and cons. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Well, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye, one and two. That was a, that was a good curveball. I have to say, Keller's looking pretty good. Red strand a couple. They're down by a touchdown. Hmm. Seven nothing. They are down by a touchdown. It's nice to actually have a game going my way for a change. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Nationals are underperforming. There, you know, there's actually a lot of teams underperforming. Uh, I haven't checked their record lately, but the Oakland Athletics, they were really sucking some dick, you know? Uh, they're they're kind of weird like that. Usually they start the season bad, and then they get super hot after their all-star break. It's like they take their roids. They're like, all right, time to take our shots. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. <laughs> He's seen a lot of balls thrown in this one. Red's pitching is not very good. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Another walk. That was a good pitch. He he just missed. He froze me with that. Oh, I got an achievement. Record eight or more team walks. Oh, do I have eight walks in this game? That's probably why I have seven runs. Wow. Yeah, because I was like, man, I, I'm seeing a lot of balls thrown in this game. Eight walks in the fifth inning. I forgot what my record was, you know, all time. I know it's double digits. I used to be uh, really good at throwing walk. I'm glad I'm showcasing it in this game. Kind of redeem myself a little bit. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hmm. Sinker, one Reds ball, are making it easy strike. on me, though. They're, it's not good pitching. Maybe two 
Wow. Much break on the slider, two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and hey, I didn't realize that was an achievement. Right that's, that's a hard one. Eight or more walk. I got that one. Even though I've done that several times on the PS4. Gotta find a way to get back with the, the Reds and White Sox, all, all those teams. To walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, <clears> a two run home. I should have just hoped to walk Second again because this motherfucker can't hit. Jake the Stallings. Can't wait to get rid of his ass. So He's a hanging slider too. He just he's just a shitty hitter. Slider here that misses for ball one. Oakland is better now. Are they are they playing better? Yeah, I haven't paid attention to them here for like almost a week. So. They have seven hits. They have three hits. In now for the Reds, Tomas, Vargas, and through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. I've had a lot of base runners. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Yeah, they're definitely just. That's why I've been able to rant, man. Been seeing a lot of balls thrown. Reds pitching not good. One one home. Taken strike two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Let's see if he can find the field that thing moving forward. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here. What's your favorite player of one of your previous franchises? Oh, my favorite player. That's kind of tough. I, I have quite a few of them. Um, I mean, we can um, we could maybe start with creative players. You know, like make believe. I came from the draft. Remember what was his name? Willie Wagner, that the Angels drafted. Then they just let him go. They didn't resign him or something. And then I was like, well, I'll, I'll sign him because he was super fast. He had uh, he had good contact. His defense was horrendous. Remember that one time he was in the outfield? He was playing left field. I remember he hit that motherfucker right in the head. He pulled like a Jose Canseco. And I'm like, you dumb motherfucker. It was just like a, a simple fly ball. and hit him in the head and he dropped it. I remember that year because I think I had Conforto. And Conforto had shitty defense too. I'm like, you bastards. That was that was a funny time. I, I, that was like one of the funniest moments. I'll never forget that. I, I wish I uh Oh man, I wish I knew which uh stream that was. I should have like uh recorded like just a clip of that moment. And just uh you know save it for like a, a video like you know just all funny moments in the show. <laughs> Hit the bastard in the head. His defense was that bad, but he ended up being a really good player, you know. Behind 0 and 2 now, bases are empty here with two men out. That was funny. Hit in the air out to center field. Actually, that wasn't the Reds franchise though. That was, uh, I think that was the Yankees franchise actually, wasn't it? I think it was. I think that was back in like MLB 16 or 17. Had to be 17. 16 was the White Sox. How about them Yankees, Joey? Yeah, they, they've been sucking some dick. I, you know, I will say this, man. We, even if we were playing good baseball, man, I don't know. Tampa Bay, man, those little motherfuckers, man. They, they, they can play us. You know, they can hit, pitch, they do everything against us. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back. It's one of those the things. They, they do own the Yankees last couple years. And this one's over at the knees, 2 and 1. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. 
Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true. When we're drop. About oh this yes, he did. Nice. I didn't think it would. A great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Barely and dropped. Jeff Seeger. Well, talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third yeah, single of the game, D row Three for four. Not a bad game. It really, all my offense is really those two big home runs, mostly. Robbins and uh, Cruz, so my big guns, put them out of the park. That felt good, the Robbins home run, especially. Well, that's another great hitting count here on the crush that one. It's no wonder why they're up seven. From the belt, kicks and deep. Oh, I wanted to launch that hanger, and look what I did. Damn, dude. Darn. Ooh. Yeah, I knew I screwed that up. Now that that's not the way you're gonna see doubled up Nelson. very often. So that was got a little too cocky. I had perfect timing on it, but it was my uh it was my zone. I, I fucked it up. He'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. <clears throat> Good life break on the stinker. I was really late, but this kind of felt like I was going to miss it anyways. That was not a good pitch. He's lucky. They're lucky I didn't launch that one. But yeah, pitches like that. See, that makes sense. That's what you do with a hanging slider. Something like that. Such a hitter like Cruz. He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. And now, Brian Goodwin, as he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. There you go. Base hit into right center. The Reds pitch is bad. And if only Goodwin was a better hitter, and maybe he could have done more than that. You know? That was even perfect timing. Yeah, it was right down the middle. Another hanging slider. I'm seeing some hanging sliders here. Oh hey, yeah, here comes my little here. vagina hitter, so are going to end second. here. Oh, there you go! Ah, uh, probably should have tried to go home. The base is loaded, alright. There you go. Was able to slap it the other way. I actually did get locked up there. I just was fortunate enough to take it the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Oh one, here's the pitch. There you go, Brett. Round to the right side. That was bad base running. Good win. Asshole. Nice power run. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Oh, really? You actually know Brandon Lowe? Oh, wow. How, how do you know him? That's really cool. Oh, wow. Keller's pretty tired. Really? Oh, Fulton. Uh, he's well rested. Yeah, it is the seventh inning already. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. So I've had an ass whooping oh, and an hit. awesome game so far. Just a nice, clean single right there. And I know it's not going to probably make a ton of difference in this game. But one thing I love about the competitive fire right there is I don't care what the scoreboard is. We do not give away at bats. And he certainly didn't right there. He's one for two in this one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. 
Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. <clears throat> Stepping in once again is Mike Mustakis. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Oh, it's going to be with the dots to order. There's one. There's two. Thank you very much. There we go. I'm having a good game for one. Man. First delivery to him. Oh, your brother played travel baseball with him. Oh, wow. That's really you know, sometimes cool. It takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count 2 0. Oh, it's time to start getting locked in. Here comes the 2 0 oh pitch. Been a great job You're so playing far every game this season. <laughs> Not every game. On One game this per series, though. Wow, another walk. That misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. Now One thing it. to give up Get a walk, it. but to do it on Take four up. pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. All right, well, Jacob this guy's Stone out. Must he walk? Jacob Stallings. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish he just with himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually this when guy, the pitcher goes four sucks. balls in a row, that next pitch you could get super greedy right down the middle. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Gregory aboard here at first with nobody out. That reminds me of that Mitre catcher I had. Sweet. He's an out. <laughs> but you know this bastard's out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. Good shit hitter. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the Need last a catcher. Minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Hit on the ground for the left. <clears throat> oh, that can be two. Yeah. On the first, and they turn another one. <laughs> They're fourth of the afternoon, and the inning is over. Bucks go down quietly. Ready now is Aristides Aquino. We're in the eighth. I have to now. say, great job by uh, Ellen. The nah, they just Double haven't had much of an answer, Maddie. They've been off balance and baffled all game. He's got a nice, comfortable lead. You have to think he's going to pound a strike zone. But here, get aggressive. High in the air out to center field. Reynolds is there, and he has it for the first down. So with his day over now, you so, get a look at the yeah, Keller, seven innings, four hits, Pittsburgh no walks, Great no runs, and four strikeouts. Not a lot of strikeouts. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. Yeah, this great job by him. You hope for every time you go out there. He had a lot so of quick out. Feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Nicky Delmonico stands in as he looks at ball one here. One one count to the Reds' first baseman. One out, nobody on. One and two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Here now the two-two. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, that was a pretty I thought that was strike slider right there. I think that would fool him. It did. The I... too. Ah. He should have struck out. Oh. He's going to be pretty upset with himself about that. Yeah, I mean, pitch. all you want to do in that I'd say that slider was perfect. Pitch. That wasn't that right. wasn't even sniffing the zone, and he let him get away. First pitch on the way. Elias Diaz is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. Runner at first here, one man out. And a strike <clears> to even the count. 1 and 1. Both them. But, uh,. Frick get his, uh, getting in again. From the belt, the pitch. That's one thing. I don't know if they ever I fixed that. The, uh, up setup and closers, they don't really get down. enough innings hit, you know? There you go. Got that call. He couldn't pull the trigger and there are two oh, away. Back to the top of the Reds lineup now and stepping in, Tomas Vargas. 
No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Center fielder. All right, hey, we have a chance to shut off the Reds here. The play, and that ends if the I can accomplish this, second time I've done that, hope to the other one. End of an eight nothing score. Bedrosian enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Oh, see, the three for four. It was a base hit last time up. The second baseman, Corey Seager. the stretch. Right side, but it's well fought. The 0-1 on its way. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. and two. two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. Swing and a shot toward right center. Kiermaier will back up and put this away for a long out number one. Stepping in next, Joey Robbins. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. Eight runs on 12 hits and no errors so far for the Pirates. Heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Oh, so here's hard. the cleanup hitter. Nelson right Cruz through. singled Nelson. in his last at bat. Cruz. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. And now time is called oh, here. they still have the it's beach ball thing? That's Irons, funny. A beach ball has made its way onto the field. And as I reach for another this time jacket, they kick it, huh? Coffee, some kind of cool <laughs> joke in play right it is nice now. to have some really good power in the middle of the lineup. That's most of the offense in this game, Cruz and Robbins. Ooh. Cruz can hit, boy. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just can't see very often. Well, I signed Cruz, man. This guy came into today absolutely on fire. And I, you know, I'm amazed with him. Over 40 years old, he he can still hit like that too. He is a hell of a hitter. So now to the plate. Ah. Goodwin. Here's a guy that can't hit. Here's the opposite. Oh, Joe, Joe, you. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. Behind 0 and 2 now. It's a good one, I know. Oh, what is that? You know, Cruz. Imagine losing to the Pirates 8 0. Yeah, Reds are like. So here's Kevin yep. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds. I wonder how good the Reds are. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses. For the pitching ball. definitely wasn't good. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. The 2 0 is a fastball that misses. A high fastball is in there. Up to a 3 2 full count now. 
probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively beautiful back door, before, all right. It's pretty hard to see back firm. enough on a well-thrown changeup. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Kevin Kiermeyer becomes the oh, first out in the ninth inning. Kyle Crick answers the ball from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs. Shut of this him out. Run. First pitch on the way. Nicholas Castellanos is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. One out, nobody on. Count remains two and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting <sighs> awesome. on two and two. But when you launch a ball that that's definitely one of their the strike best zone, players right there. Obviously easy to take Him and this guy right here. The All right. There at full count. You're hoping that the hitter is thinking mm -hmm. fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Eugenio Suarez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And this is high, a ball and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Runners on first with one down. That was a beauty of the slider. Right, one more. Slider as he set down on strike. <clears throat> Winky. That's their new addition. And now, Jesse Winker. Jesse. Lifetime versus this arm. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Owen warm the count from the stretch. This is going to be a nice W. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Perfect. There we go. Damn, we were in the zone for this one. There we go. There we go. Well, I mean, it's like I mentioned after offseason, I'm like, we, we technically did improve a lot, except for the pitching, but the pitching did well in this one. Braves, they got destroyed, but... Yeah, four-hit shutout. Nice. Sonny Gray was awful. I needed that, though. I needed a face of pitcher that sucks. I mean, that's the Sonny Gray, I know. So, uh, I struck them out eight times. They had two walks and four hits. Uh, but yeah, I didn't allow an extra base hit. So I struck out six. They walked nine times. Sonny Gray just summed it up. Their bullpen did slow me down. But uh, Sonny Gray was awful. He was just hanging them. There you go. That's good. Yeah, we had the one double, the two home runs. Two big home runs. Yeah, Cruz, eight RBIs already. He's he's fortunate. Over a 500 average. He's showing it. Actually, he probably has like a 600 average because he's three for three. Uh, 583. So, two walk. Robin's having a slow start. He was one for four. And it was that two run homer. And he walked once, one strikeout. Seager's doing what Seager does. I'm trying to figure out Hayes. I, I have trouble hitting with him. He was one for four. I think 200. Goodwin, and yeah, he sucks dick. Reynolds, he sucks dick. Brett, I mean, you're a rookie. You'll get it. You had two hits. So your average is up to 190. Trevor, you know, same. You know, you guys are rookies. And then Stallings, well, he just sucks dick. What's the point? <laughs> <clears throat> There you go, Keller. Uh, there you go. Go. What's my thoughts about Clint Fraser? I'm going to say this. For his sake, he needs to start hitting because his defense isn't very good. That's why the Yankees never gave him that full time, you know, starting job. For a while, 
because, well, all he is is a hitter, and we had too many hitters, you know. Um, his defense just isn't that good. But yeah, even he's not hitting worth a flip. So, I don't know. We've just been bad. There's only been a handful of Yankees that look good. You know, uh, Judge is Judge. He's doing his job. Uh, Urshel is a really good player. LeMahieu, you know, statistically, his stats will show that he's doing his job. But he's been ground into a lot of double plays. So, really, for his standards, he's not doing very well. Uh, Stanton, swing and a miss, swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Oh, wow, he hit one. That's over 120 miles per hour. Well, he murdered that. Okay. Uh, 50 outs later. Hey, he did it again. All right. Another 50 outs later. He did it again. Um, and then Torres, you know, another... He's a good hitter that's just not uh, hitting well right now. But my criticism with him, his, he's got a shitty arm. He's got to improve on his defense. Uh, I tell you, uh, the players I I feel confident in in a clutch situation is Urshela. I I uh, or ju Judge, you know, Judge is Judge. I have a lot of faith. Uh, if he was uh at the plate, yeah, that's that's mostly it. To be honest with you, the rest of them are just really a dick in the mouth overall. You know. <clears throat> oh, Phillies are next. Uh, oh, here's the that guy a rookie? I think that guy's a rookie as well. He's got a 17 RA, so that's not gonna go well. Yes, yeah, so the Sunny Gray's ERA is an 18 and a half now. Uh, pretty bad. Them up here. Oh, good one has a boo boo. Oh, we swept the Reds. Yeah, Reds, I guess, are bad. They're three and six. We whooped them. The beginning Let's of look the at the Reds roster. The Maybe they're the not that Looking great. First at the NL Central, we destroyed the Pittsburgh their pitching. Pirates completed a short two game sweep as they grabbed the win against the visiting Reds, seven to three. Entering the day's action, the Pirates sit in second place in the National League Central, and the Reds they are still at have the bottom that, uh, of the division. The Redbirds picked up oh, yeah, 14 they hits in Here total as they took a victory against the Brewers in Milwaukee, eight to four. Reds. As of right now, the Brewers are in second place in the NL Central. Yeah, they don't have the any nineties. Are second in the division. I mean, they have the their Cubs ace. Brought out the Benny Gray's in eighty six, but he, as they he was not the very good. Extras over the Giants, five two. It was their fifth straight victory in the standings. The Giants are in last place in the NL West, and the Cubs are atop the NL Central. The Atlanta Braves finished off a two-game sweep as they him, took though. down the fish in Miami he's, he's five really to four. Good. They are he on a roll the with eight straight victories. As of today, the Marlins mm. are in third place in the NL East, while the Braves or, are yeah, atop the division. Power. His contact and all Mets that knocked out ten hits as a team as they took down Ru the Nationals uh, in Washington Jeremiah, eight he's all to defense. one. He can't Heading hit. into the day, the Nationals sit in last he place in the National League East, and the Mets mm. are second in the division. The Phillies hit three long balls. Now I had a uh, Rocks in Colorado, eight to five. Keller's a righty right now, lefty. Action, so the if I had a righty on the mound, he he wasn't that dangerous. Division. And the Phillies mean versus sit in lefties, fourth though. place in the National League. Yeah, East you know, actually looking at the Reds, they're the not really that good. Well, allowing overall, only three hits as they took down the visiting. They have a couple of big power hitters. Um, at the start of the day, the Padres an ace, sit in which fourth I didn't place in the National League West, while the Diamondbacks are atop the division. The Rays. I guess I can understand why I watched them. Four to one. As I scored. Today, oh, I, I faced him. I scored a lot of runs on him. Well, he's a sixty-eight the overall. Astros sit in second place in the American I wonder League if West. That guy up. The Toronto Blue Jays got eleven hits overall as they took down the visiting Orioles seven-one. In the standings, the Blue Jays. That's a really are in good uh, prospect the right there. East, and the Orioles are at the bottom of the division. The New York Yankees Jose earned the three-game series be good. sweep as they got the victory in extra innings over the Red Sox, six to five. Go see the next team I'm facing is the Phillies. As of right now, How good the are they? Oh, let's look at the Braves. The I mean, they spanked me. Division, while the Red Sox are third. How in good the are they? 
Uh, the Indians they? got they 12 hits in this one as they yeah. beat the White Sox on the south side, 7-2. to two. Entering the day's action, the White you know, that's Sox weird. are uh, I mean, the they just... League Central Division. Oh, that's starting division. pitching. While the yeah, okay, that's more like it. <laughs> I was like, wait, that don't look right. <laughs> the A's amassed 14 hits in the game yeah, as they Braves beat the Royals are, in Coffin Stadium 10-2. They have a Stadium, lot of monster hitters. Heading into the day, the Royals sit in second right. place in the AL Central Division, while the Athletics are atop the American League West. Max Kepler had a great day driving in five on three hits as the I mean, Twins they have a lot of contact of the power nine to eight. At the start of the day, the Twins are in third place in the AL Central, while the Tigers are at the bottom of they the division. <clears throat> the Mariners totaled 13 hits and as a see, team. And see, the pitcher I faced was him. And he, you know, he's okay. Three. He's an 81 as overall. Right now, like Mariners I said, he was hittable. In third place in the American League West division. And he has the a whip Dodgers of one are in second place in the NL West. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't really get it done against them. And then the reliever I faced, which I think he's a starter, isn't he? I guess he's not. I faced him. Well, I mean, I have to say, I mean, he, I thought he was better than that. Better player. Than that. I guess he used to be. I guess because he, he sucked in 2020, and that's right. He didn't play uh, last year. So they were harsh with his rating, I guess. They might have done him a little wrong. But, I mean, he, he did well against me. Couldn't really hit him. Yeah, they got that. And the Phillies. That's who I face next. Yeah, they're going to have some players. They'll have Harper. Yeah. They have some hitters. I bet I give up some runs in this one. They got some hitters. Um, depends on who I'm facing as far as pitcher. Hopefully it's not Nola. <laughs> Rubble there. Their bullpen is not that great. Really, their starting pitching may not be that good, except for their ace. You really need to start a Yankees only. You know, I would, but oh, a, a Yankees only podcast. I thought you were going to say Yankees franchise on here. They're, they're just a little too good. I'm glad we swept the Reds. Now we're four and five. Uh, Cubs are seven and two. Yeah, they beat me. Um,. Facing Hanson. Yeah, so he's not very good. So who knows? Now my pitcher sucks dick too. I, I think who knows? I mean, if I'm lucky and I can score some runs again, maybe this will be a high scoring affair. Both our pitching sucks. Both high ERAs. What time is it? I'll uh I'll play one more game. Let's uh or we're one and one this stream. Let's see if we can have a winning record. In a stream. Yeah, this is the rookie. Hopefully he'll be something. He's got B potential. And, uh, yes. Yeah, oh, Desmond is in. Oh, that's right, because good one's hurt. That's right, yeah. Uh, I may use my backup catcher. Yeah, we'll change it up. Because uh, Stalin's is kind of annoying the hell out of me. See, Trevor can play first or third. I may give uh, Brett the day off and let Trevor play a little first base. I know the defense would suffer. Just to keep, you know, Brett fresh, you know. I think that's all I'm pretty much going to do. Desmond really shouldn't bat 
fifth because he hates righties. Don't trust Reynolds. Uh, I'm going to have Trevor bat fifth. I'll still let Desmond bat sixth. Kind of balance that. I'm going to let Brett seventh. Okay. That looks good. <clears throat> Change it up a little bit. Under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Quinn Priester will be on the mound for the Buckos. Dan, any thoughts? It's not an easy thing to do to pitch as a rookie, but one of the things you have to do is use the positives. You the got Queen. Has never faced you. You can't be afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. Establish your pitches off and try to work quick. Philadelphia. He's ready. The Here's pitch. the first pitch. Alec. Alec hey. Bowen is in to start things off here as he Let's looks at a cold strike. It's seven. nothing in one. Zero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they interplay here tonight. They've been got a it. nice little groove of winning three of the last four. Robin's like, I got that. Hey, Devo, we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to play. He used to be a Yankee, remember him? The two teams playing top of their game right now, really playing well. Both come in on winning streaks. We're I don't know why I'm surprised he's still playing. That's good. And oh, to be on the beach in Hawaii tonight. 43 degrees at first pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around. Ooh, there you the go. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes okay. Two outs. That's right. He's never known as a hitter. I guess he still has some speed, man. That's why he's batting second. I don't know. And Harper. Here's the pitch. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Into the corner and slice it. Yeah, be careful. I pitch to him. All that power. Up the middle, surprise. and that's through for a hit. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base. And really wasn't a bad pitch either, but that was well, a decent curveball. Good hitters are good that hitters is. for a reason, D Rowe. To be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You right. wouldn't know if you showed up, you wouldn't know if it's 2 0, 3 1, 0 2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Oh, thank you, Tony, for subscribing. Welcome to the channel, buddy. First and two away. Oh, one, here's the pitch. It was generous ball. Okay. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball. In the oh, thank you, zone. Uh, Brandon Adams. Now. Yeah, this welcome to the channel, buddy. <laughs> Popped up. Robbins waits on it. And there he's go. got it for the final out of the frame. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Oh. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. Alec Hansen gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five, like oh. this. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to I'll first. That. On Thank the you very much. Pitch. Of course the, the crowd is going to get on him a little Holy. bit here, but I find it hard to believe Finger. there was any intention there. Bottom of the first, you never want to dig yourself a hole on the mound just to send a message. Corey Seager is at the plate as he looks at ball one. A ball and a strike. 
Hayes on the first. Nobody out. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. One one. A double play yeah. ball to second. Four, Going on top six, of it. <laughs> three, and they turn the double play. Next, it'll be Joey Barry Robbins. Going on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner. Mm -hmm. There's a Helping pretty the good chance here. you'll get him to roll over something. I'll do that. Here comes the one two. Ooh, oh, and then he made a mistake. Perfect timing. There you go. It got him, motherfucker. Number three for Robbins. There you go. Hanging slider. That was just a line shot right there. And the Pirates are staked to a one nothing lead. Red Worms. There you go, Robbins. Don't make a mistake to Robbins. He'll go boom. <laughs> I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that 110 guy. miles Don't per hour. He homered yesterday. That was just he a line drive, man. We'll That's like a Don Carlos Stanton home run whenever he connects. Nelson Cruz, the right Cruz has been killing it. This first inning alive. I love his offense. He's uh, awake. He's adding some big hitters. The one one. Taken strike two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This one's flared off to the right. Side. Nelson Cruz strikes again, man. That guy's a beast. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. You kind of put balls in the seat right there. The two strikes, it's for the team. You got to shorten up and find a way. And that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right. Oh, field. shit. Can you say it? I can say it. It's gone, motherfucker. It's Trevor. First major league home run. Oh, oh! Offense waking up. I think the Reds woke me up, motherfucker. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I keep this up. Maybe I should go back to Hall of Fame. Oh. Starting to feel it. Into the box now. Ian Desmond. No left fielder. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Yes, that gets yeah, down just and hanging on, isn't he? And this will get all the way to the wall now. Really, Desmond? You only got a single out of that? You dumb bastard. Oh, go ahead. I'm doing. How are you not get a double out of that? Go ahead. You have 50 speed. What the hell's wrong with you? Stepping in now, Brett Rowley. And this one's in the dirt. I can't believe he didn't go to second. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. In for a strike, it's 1 and 1. Bouncer to the left side. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. It's, ye it's so yellow worms now. Oh, yellow worms. Three runs on the scoreboard. We move ahead to the top of the second now. It's the Man, that felt good. I was like, well, we're not going to do anything first then, and that pitcher just hung some, man. So I decided to change the lineup a little bit. Trevor, woo! Swing and lift the ball 
fouled off to the left and out of play. The 0-1 on its way. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And that one yanked just foul. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Not a good pitch. McCutcheon mm -hmm. moves well on his way to second now. And he's got himself he's a third. lead off double to begin the second. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just that knew that was going to get down for an extra shot. base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Here, Dee Dee, another ex Yankee. He's like McCutcheon. I do miss Dee Dee, he was a good player. McCutcheon stands I hate to say it, though. I, I can understand why we let, let him walk, though. We didn't really need him anymore, but. I hate to say that because, you know, he's a good player. I like DD. I'm actually glad he's on a good team, you know. He should do just fine in Philadelphia. Nip the corner, two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. That's out number one. <laughs> so one gun with the runner at third. And in steps the catcher, JT Wilmuto. They're going to get a run. Meanwhile, the runner is in the score. Good manufactured Not run again. right there. The Lead off field. double. Move off him over field. with the ground ball and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Austin Hayes is in with two away as he takes a ball. One to no. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw clean right. to first and that ends the inning. So one run, one hit. No. Digging in, the switch hitter, Ryan Reynolds. He and he's looking to get it going. Off to the a bit of a fielder. slow start this year. Oh, yeah. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later. Bad enough. The catcher. Next up, John Ryan Murphy. Murphy. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. The third baseman, number 13. So the lineup Keep flips Ryan. over and digging in. Key Brian Hayes. Hey. Maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a uh, pitch in uh, his first uh, down uh, uh, And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And no one will get this one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Barehanded for one on the first. And that's two innings and two double plays they've hit into so far. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Adam Hazley. And they'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Swing and a liner. Well, this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Alec Bone grounded out in his last at bat. Lifted in the air out to center field. Nice. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. 
Base is empty two away. And up next, the infielder slash utility man, Ronald Torres. Hot duck, Gregory in foul ground. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. <laughs> nice read, left fielder. Digging for second. And now that'll hop over. He's like, oh, wait, that's going over my head. Oh, shit. Freaking Desmond. Freaking piece of shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, what a dumbass. Plus, it didn't matter. Grandma will double, but. Bryce Harper will dig into the, the principal player. man. The change up to him drops in there for the first strike. <laughs> one for one with a single so far. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Having uh, Cruz and Desmond as our light uh, outfielders. <laughs> going to be mistakes out there. Strike number two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch. We're going to get out of here. Got to this time, Harper. Reynolds has it for out number three. Oh, okay. Good job, kiddo. Two out double left stranded. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. <laughs> Bottom of the third now. Striding to the plate will be Corey Seager. The second baseman, Corey. First offering, Seager. Seager. Stands at six foot four inches tall, bats left, throws right. He's a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah, Maddie, this guy's got some of the best hands in the game. It doesn't matter. Shortstop, second base, you can pretty much put him wherever you want in the infield. Premium defender, up the middle defender, looks to help out the pitching staff anyway. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. The 3-2 pitch. Oof. On the ground near home. It's back. That goes foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. Again, another foul ball. Looking down, barely got a piece of that. Two. At the knees and called strike three. Yes, from Now at the plate, Joey Robbins. Off to a fine start Good in this shot. one after launching a Joey. homer his first time up. Robin. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Hoskins is over and he tucks it away for the second. Oh, here, my boy, right here. Big right bad Cruz. Nelson. Nelson Cruz. He singled Cruz. and scored in his first appearance in this one. In there, strike one. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close ah. to posting two shutout innings as a response. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He'll try again, one, two. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he's going right now. Thank you. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. This should end the inning as it sent down to second. Correa's gloves it. Oh, in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. On now to the top of All set for the start of the fourth. Oh, and that'll put him in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Hmm. He was in a fastball. Pitch had him out in front for strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown the first pitch strike to. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. 
This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Mm. Too high. Ball Can't three. Get him. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. I hey, said with a curve. I don't think I want to count fastball. That wasn't it's a good on one. Top of one here and chops it foul right at home. Uh, I'm going to try to change up five. Once again, a 3 2. That wasn't a good one either. Yeah, I figured he was thinking fastball. He was out in front of that. I'm going to go fastball now, though. Now that's popped Got lucky. Up. Gregory is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. So bases are empty with one gun. And that'll bring up the National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Swing and a line drive. And that's in for a base hit. His second in his many trips to the plate. The bat. The short side. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Breaking ball. I do like this kid's curveball. I think he has a nice curveball. this one off that's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily shoots this one get, over to first get him oh, he has some trouble with it one he's there. got the force out yeah trevor's not good over at first okay the he's got the force the out fourth. and that brings up jt real muto mm -hmm. set here it comes Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hits her now, even at four apiece. Real Muto behind with an 0 and 2 count now. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. This one's down to third. He's right there. Over All right. First, and that mm. retires the side. So far, so good out of the rookie. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Gregory. Ready to take his hands again. Trevor Gregory lasted a two-run homer in his last at-bat. A little bit of a unique home run in that last one. A changeup in off the plate that he pulled for a home run. Not a real good idea to throw that changeup on the inner half of the plate. More executed, well-executed changeups are more down and away. I wonder if that homer rattled them a little bit. He's certainly a little bit more cautious against pitch. them this time around. Two and one to count. Into the windup and the pitch. Rock Man, look at you, Trevor. You hitting the ball hard today. Reach and into the outfield. I hope you got a double out of that. The relay. And it's in time. He's out at second as a good relay gets him. The left fielder, number 22, Ian Desmond. Time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. And now this at bat just doesn't want to get off the ground as he'll step out. For really, Trevor? Into the box. He did hit that fucking hard. That was the hardest hit ball. 113 mile per hour. He went fast enough to get to second first trip. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. 
Three runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Reyes has it. Throw on to first, two gone. Now back. Next will be the designated hitter, Brett Rowley, who bounced out last time up. Now here's the first offering. As he'll lay off a curveball in the dirt for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Hayes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends Trevor the didn't inning. make it the second. One, two, three, go the Pirates. He, he scorched and still it. Three to one. And it's not like I haven't seen that in real life, you know. I forget what Trevor's speed is. I mean, he well, did hit that 113 miles an hour. Felt so good. Top of the fifth. I can't believe he didn't make that. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at bats. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard the and field. on a line. The Looking at the field. numbers, they've had Off seven game. total line drives, yeah. and even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. Thank you, Heidi. Austin Hayes is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. and oh. And this one's on the inside corner, 1-1. One and one. Line shot to first, and there's <laughs> one away. Now that designated hitter. So next to the plate for the Phils, Adam Hazley hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Bouncer up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to oh, get a glove on it. Hard it. single up the middle. Yeah, yeah. Watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back yeah. right where it came from. Alec Bone is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 1. Hit down the mm. third base. There we go. And that gets through for a one out base hit. Up next for Philadelphia. Fifth inning, he rookie still has energy. I'm going to believe in him. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. And he's working on a 1 for 2 game so far. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2 0 now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with uh, There's no way I can get to. The second, this could be 2. two. <clears throat> uh, he's up. Oh, Harper. Of course it's Harper. I mean, I could walk him, but who's next? Hoskins? This is dangerous. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect the hitter to be sitting off speed. Now a ball line hard Can I get it? Center. Oh, I got it. I didn't think I was going to get it. Oh, yes. Really did not think I was getting that. Phillies leave a couple. Score holds. It's three to one. <clears throat> so now it's Brian Reynolds. Oh, it's not bullet. Yeah, I think the rookie's probably done. Good job by him. He's allowing the run. He almost allowed a couple more, though. Uh, all right. Now we just got to hope the bullpen don't fuck it up. is empty and that'll bring up the catcher John Ryan Murphy first pitch on its way and he misses inside with that one ball one that misses two and oh three to one our score as we play inning number five he can walk this guy he sucks dick 
Well, he knows it. I don't think this is the kind of guy you just have to go yeah, walk right him, out. please. He walked last time, back. actually. Time that was a blessing. Right here. Three and one, the count now. You know, I'm going to take another pitch. Into the wind up and the pitch. Yes. And he takes ball four. <laughs> so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now a swing as he shoots this. Yeah, the there you go. All right, good job, Hayes. All right, here comes the big boys. Pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball. Okay. Again. One and two now, as this catches the outer half. <laughs> Two balls and two strikes. Ballsy tag, but I thought that was low. Knew I couldn't do anything with it. Yes! I, I can, though. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Two runs better score. One run is in. Throw comes to second. And ah, that's a, you know what, Seager? The two runs should have scored, which they did. So. There you go. Good job, Seager. Oh, nice. He couldn't come up with it. For a base hit, All right, man. This team is looking much better. Yeah, I may go to Hall of Fame here. I'm uh really feeling it on All Star right now. And he's gonna motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart here. I'm sure people would agree with that. You know what I mean? On the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Mike Fultonevich will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Lays off the slider and it's one and one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. One one home. Have a wicked Hoping pitch. To discourage a steal that one. with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command. I don't like off that slider. About that runner Hard to read. The two two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. There you go, Robbins. There you go. Room, room, room. In there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Good steal there, and I'll tell you, he is a multi-dimensional player out there. He's got good pop to play. Challenge he's Cruz. He's not afraid to use his a big on the hitter team. right now. He did go deeper. Yeah, he did. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, <clears throat> and that will do it. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight. Are you still on Hall of Fame pitching? You know what? Uh... Sacramento. I think it is on All Star. It is. So I'm gonna go Hall of Fame all around. You know why that was on All Star? Because when I was playing, wrote to the show. You know what I mean? I have that on All Star. So let's put that all on Hall of Fame and, and see how it looks now. I'm feeling more, I mean, I mean, I'm feeling better about myself. Like, I think I've graduated past All-Star. Product, Elise Hoskins. He's batting cleanup in this one, but we'll get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just mm. a single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots. And that's I am seeing the ball really well today, I will say. And 
has had to get my hiney spanked quite a few times in order for me to be like, I'm back in the zone, motherfuckers. Well, then I at least have a much better lineup. <laughs> that lineup from last year, God, can't get any more vagina than that. Got away with that one. Okay. I'll see if the rookie can get one more out before I pull him. I like what I uh, call out of this rookie. I like his curveball. I'm a touching is an impressive. So in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Everything this guy I felt like pitching on All Star versus Hall of Fame didn't feel himself. like way different because, uh, like you know, the Braves game I got destroyed seven to one, right? I'm a touching three for three. Um, and then you know I did shut out the Reds. I did get first one shot out on Hall of Fame, which was the Cubs. Ironically, the first game I played. Might have to make an but I don't know. I almost feel like the, the pitching isn't much different. But maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. It should be on Hall of Fame anyway. <laughs> now people are like, you still have auto base running. You know the base running? I don't fucking understand that bullshit. That's going to stay on auto. That shit whack. <laughs> I don't have a solution for that nonsense. <laughs> to the plate now, Didi Gregorius. And she'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. But it's good to see Robbins, I think, has a couple stolen bases through the auto thing, so that's good. But, you know, we, we have seen some bad base running every now and then. Cause I'm sure I have guys that stuck dick at base running. Kind of, like, kind of like Sanchez in real life. Like a knucklehead running the base. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second <laughs> out. So stepping in is JT Realmuto. He grounded out last time up. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. McCutcheon is off a of first with two away. A ball and a strike. Fouled off. Liner in there for a base hit. Hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Dan, if they're going to crack through, this now has got to be the opportunity they, they've been looking for All right three. here. They've had a ton of hits, a ton of people on base, but no one has been able to come up with that big knock. Well, you know what, Dio? This pitch has kind of worked around trouble the entire time so far. Another inning brewing right here. Let's see if they can't I got get that. a big hit here right here and bust yeah. through in this one. That's twice I got away with it. Because, like, Harper just missed it last inning. Oh boy, we both have eight uh, eight hits. But Trevor's having a great day. I just don't understand that base running. I couldn't believe he couldn't make it a second, but man, he scorched that other pitch. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. One ball and two strikes to count. Ooh. And a good yeah. right to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down well, on only four number pitches. 22. And what I liked about yeah. all of those pitches was they were down yeah. around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located. Too bad uh, that wasn't a lefty. Desmond can't hit righty. Damn, yeah, nice pitch to hit. The plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH. Brett Rowley. He flew out in his last AB. And he takes ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. 
one one is laid off for ball two both teams with eight hits in this one. Oh there you go you couldn't handle that motherfucker. Line drive base hit to left field. My rookie boy they're getting some good swings in. Yeah that's going to be an E5 though. I, I, I think I would have ruled that a hit because he hit it hard. I mean, it had a rough bounce on the, the third baseman. It's a rough error. It's one of those situations like third baseman would be like, yeah, I should have had it. But like the reality, that, that was really tough. Freaking Reynolds is tough. Here's the Phillies DH. Adam Hazley singled in his last at bat. Adam Hazley. He's set and the pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. <laughs> hey, his, his timing way off. <laughs> back to back. He's just guessing way wrong. Nothing in two count. Ooh, that would have been bad to hit him too. That's gonna be bad if I miss him. If I lose this guy. Could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. I think I would have lost him if he didn't swing at that. That was a good looking fastball, I will say. It's hard to lay off. That had some dance movement. And some uh, spin. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers ah, not are not with the batter here. Add in by the rope. Right and that's in there. Base hit. See, he's at 19 not pitches. Now he's pushing them. Probably his last batter. With that big runner in scoring position, two-out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game over. Ronald Torres stands in as he looks at a called strike. That just misses off the inside for ball one. And he gets him to pop get it. it up on the right side of the Ah! Uh, oh, get him at second. There's no way. God dang it. Just, I will say Trevor sucks dick over at first base. He's, he's been hitting the ball really well, but he cannot play defense. And, you know, don't rely on uh, Nelson Cruz backing you up. Uh, okay. New pitcher. That should have been an out. Bad thing, here's Harper. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. As he will take a look at a fastball in there. As that strike zone call. Thank you. just a little, it's 0-1. Boy, you're lucky you got away with that. There's one. There's two. Oh boy, am I super lucky. I Normally, he probably would have homered that pitch, hanging slider, and I got away with that. That's right, let's taunt them. You're like, ooh, you can't fuck my feet. I got away with that one. It's like, wrong hitter to do that. First pitch on the way. Who's up, my catcher? Yeah, he's out. Obviously, oh, yeah, the game plan probably, to let this guy beat not yet. Right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells I'll warm up my closer up. soon. One ball, one strike to count. Five minutes, seven. One, one. Now here's one hit in the air to the right Drop. side. He dives. Uh, Did he catch that? He whatever, did. Harper. What a play there for the first out. Pete Ryan. Hey. 
Key Brian Hayes digging in now. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on the first for the second out of the inning. Nice defense. The batter, number five. Up next, <clears throat> he was thrown out at Cole second, Hayes. trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. He tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him, one and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. He's going to get it. Over his head. Oh, it went over his head. Man, getting some ground rule doubles in the game, huh? Black a doodle. Love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Oh, he swung on top of it. Darn. What's the pitch swing at? Yeah, I'm just glad I feel like I'm back. You know what I mean? Next to battle be Reese Hoskins. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the first pitch. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. Why did I say that? Next team I face, I lose like 15 to two or something. Right right yep. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Have to, Good time to be a remember and it's what away. team I am, yeah. The next 0-2. Rounded to the right. And a step on first for the out three unassisted. I'll tell you what, I can't get McCutcheon out. Two singles and a double. He's been he's not impressed with my pitching. First pitch coming, here it is. Line drive. How about four for four? I can't pitch to him, huh? And McCutcheon has himself a base hit. Oh, good job, McCutcheon. Hey, Dan, obviously, good game plan by the offensive team. Bunch of knocks, but they can't seem to get any runs going. Boy, I'd say that's a pitch of the old I start warming up closer. Damage. Lots of traffic, but so far, he him very for the first time. so far. You wonder how much longer he can keep this up. At the plate now, Didi Gregorius, <clears throat> as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. I jammed him, but is he going to drop? Yeah, that's bad luck. Jammed him, too. Okay, this is a little nerve-wracking. I mean, it's not that they haven't been able to hit. He's been able to get out of it. First pitch on its way. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. Ooh, perfect pitch. There, there you go. That's why I'm not messing around. I know it's not a safe situation well technically, but I'm bringing right in my best relievers I against this, this lineup. Looking for something up. Not mess around, you know. Give the Phillies a chance. They've had chances. Just Here missed them. Perfect slider. Miss. There you go. There you go. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring Who's opportunities. Next? And when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Austin Hayes the next to bat. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back in. Yes, this jammed him. Baseball doesn't have a clock. But you only Don't have you dare drop it. Outs to work with. There you go. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends Got the out of trouble. Yeah, they just haven't couple. been able to get that They're clutch hit. Five to one. Whew. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Here Nelson go. Cruz. He's Pirates. working on a one for right three field. thus far. Nelson Cruz. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. 
well late in the game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little oh, test right here. Oh, shit. By Cruz. Can you say it? I can say it. It gone, motherfucker. Nelson Cruz. Boy, baseball style, it hit a 425-plus foot home run. Oh, wow. Now that's a trophy. Oh. Right now, Nelson Cruz is my favorite hitter, man. I, my, my eyes get so open when I see a yummy pitch like that. Oh, Cruz ain't missing that shit. Ooh. Glad I signed you. I swear, that. He, I think he's the main reason why our offense really woke up. He's getting you know these monster hits, and it's just right. giving us Let's momentum. See, when we get to the bottom of the order, we know we do nothing. You know, those guys get out unless they walk. Yeah, 458-foot home run. Uh, that's that's my deepest home run. I mean, that was a slider right down the middle. So I know that doesn't sound super impressive, you know, 458. There's obviously much better in the league than that, but so far for me, that's my that's my career high with this team. I actually don't blame him if he walks. Uh, Trevor, Trevor been hitting the ball pretty hard too. He did. Trevor getting some respect. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning. Now Desmond would be a threat, but this guy's a righty. Desmond sucks first righty, so. He wasn't too anxious to challenge it. At the plate now is Ian Desmond. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Ball and a strike. Gregory gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ah, oh, why are one and two now? Even count of two and two to Ian Desmond. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the he lost zone. Me. He made it that's, that's really good because yeah, Desmond struggles versus righties. Had that one down the well, middle, and I was looking like low and in and he had couldn't adjust quick enough. He didn't want to give him Rose. anything over the heart of the plate to hit, so we'll see if that walk. Hey, it's Brad Peacock. It's on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Brett Rowley will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it will be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Uh, didn't get the good part of the bat. That's an out. On the move is Harper. Mm -hmm. He's there and records the first out. Now, so oh. next to hit, oh, he's out. Hey, here, here comes my little pussy hitters. offensive <laughs> onslaught. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Oh. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Runners are at first and second with one away. <laughs> Little chopper back to the mound. That gonna be two. The second for one. Why, why swing with him? Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. Here now is Adam Hazley. And his guys need to get things started here in the top half of the night. Right. Adam Hazley. Joaquin Sawyer comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. 
Oh, all right, let's be two and one this stream. From the stretch. Well, I sure redeemed myself. Hey, Got my ass kicked by the Braves and destroyed the Reds, and we're now gonna win this one. To to get on. I wouldn't say I would. I destroyed the uh, Phillies because Phillies just didn't. Uh, they had a lot of opportunities. Well hit the other way, and it's In fact, the they probably out hit me. I don't know. They they have a lot of hits. Just been getting lucky. Managers these days like to think of that. Look at, look at this umpire. Look at this fucking smirk. What the hell is that? What a creepy smirk. He's like, what the hell's wrong with him? A chance to bring him home. That's perfect timing on that. All right, up the order for him. Might be a good closer. Be a breeze. Five run cushion. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. A ball and a strike <clears> to <throat> the Phillies leadoff man. He's set. Here comes the one one. Beautiful. One out. And look at the Braves, speaking of which. 16 to 11. Man, can they score runs? Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Bob Cardinal scored 17. That's the red. Hey, there you go, man. Red's pitching must be really bad. I guess that explains why I scored eight on him. That's good. That's our division rivals, though. We'll see more of them. Skyed in the air to straightaway left. Desmond is there to put it away. Two outs. One more. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away. And of course, it has to be Harper, right? Stepping in. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hazley stands at second with two gone. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Pulled toward right center field. Ooh. That was a little right lower. He probably would have took it out of the park. Makes the pitch and that's now we prevailed. Four wins in a row for these guys. And I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, we get a lot they injured each other doing that. Six to one, the final. The Pirates hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Quinn Priester. Yeah, they had, they had 13 the hits. First of the year. So that's yeah, I mean, they can tonight. hit. They just couldn't get that clutch hit. It felt like almost every inning, the Phillies had an opportunity to score. Got lucky. Oh. Yeah, you know, I will say I didn't walk them, though. That's good. Struck them, I only struck them out four times. Yeah, they were putting it in play. They had three doubles. For Philadelphia, one run on 13 hits, one error. Yeah, I only struck out three, walked four, and hit. Had two doubles and uh, the three home runs. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Yeah, as far as a home run, it's basically Cruz and Robbins, and we'll see Seeger every now and then. Seeger's is really a, a guy that's going to hit doubles. That's what I've been getting out of him, doubles. That's why I think he's a great, like, number two hitter. Robbins has six stolen bases. But yeah, I'm glad I'm, I'm back to Hall of Fame. And we'll go from there. Ooh, feeling good. Oh, the ball really well today. Proud of myself. Mm -hmm. 
So we have the Mets next. Um, yeah, I could use him as a pitcher. Put him up here. Our good one's no longer injured. I don't know if we give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah, we've been scoring some runs. TGIF and Offense welcome picking to it up. The show. We got destroyed in, in that game. Central, the and I think that's going to happen. The best of the Dodgers at home, two to one. That seems to be the, the trend. We'll, we'll either do pretty one, good or yeah, we'll get our asses Miami, smoked. Five to one. Mikey Ostremski had a great day driving in five on three oh, six hits. And six and six. San Francisco took care of that's Philadelphia, her. 12 to four. Eight, five. The Braves sent three balls into the seats as they took down the Nationals. Now I could face the Grom. I'm sure people would like to see that. To climb at um, 12 games. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Earned the three games. That's gonna test as they took care of the Rocks where I Colorado, stand, facing arguably the best pitcher the in the Seattle league. Mariners combined so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, advance team, these two games right the here. Yankees in the Bronx. Now the only bad thing, then I have to use that same pitcher again, that rookie. But that's that's okay, just to face the Grom. Uh, he it's has a two-year RA. To inside the show. Know. Looking first at the NL Central. We the won Pittsburgh those games. Pirates racked up 11 hits as a team as they took care of the Our Mets team's looking pretty good, man. We're uh, actually on a roll, man. Dallas Keuchel pitched his way to his 100th career victory, leading the White I don't Sox think we're going to make playoffs, but we may be like a 500 Cubs, team. Nine to four. The Milwaukee Brewers got past the Reds in Cincinnati, four to three. The Cardinals went deep four times as they bested the visiting Nats ten to six. So uh, Hayes is still not Braves hitting that well. Got Eleven hits overall. As they made short work he probably shouldn't lead off anymore. Two. The Phillies combined to allow. I'm hoping he'll just get better. You know. Defeated the visiting Giants got eight five potential. two. The Arizona Diamondbacks knocked He's out ten hits. Slowly getting, getting better as a hitter. As they beat the visiting Marlins five to three. Great. The win was their fifth straight as a team. Clayton Kershaw got his Seager, third win you know, this season actually as the Dodgers slump. grabbed the win against Colorado he'll, he'll three it, to though. two. The New That's York Yankees grabbed 13 hits in the game Robbins as they took down Robbins. the Red Sox on the road. 10 Although he's starting slow, Mitch not a Garber lot of production. Had an outstanding five hits, five the RBIs. As the Cruz is murdering the 14 RBIs. The Tampa Bay Rays only 489 average. In the he game is as murdering. They to the win against the Tigers, 11 uh, to nothing. Super hot. The Royals got a win over the Astros. Desmond only has 30 at bats. The but, Indians pulled off the yeah, win against the Angels much. in Orange County, four no to three. No home runs yet. The Oakland Probably Athletics haven't faced too many up 14 uh, hits in total as they got the win in a laugher against the Rangers, seven one. The Toronto Blue Jays Reynolds, he, amassed he just 14 sucks, hits in the game. He's as a guaranteed they out. The, against the Mariners, five two. But Brett and Trevor, and I like what I'm today. seeing. Uh, Trevor's showing we'll some power, around. man. And we knew that was gonna happen. That's our first round pick right there. Those are really two good draft picks right there, first and second. I will say, Trevor cannot play defense, so we've established that. <laughs> I was just giving Brett, you know, kind of like a breather and let him DH, see what Trevor can do, and yeah, he's bad on defense. <laughs> Makes sense, 46 fielding, not very good. Uh, Brett is good enough, you know, he's not perfect, but... It seems like 60 to 70 fielding. You can manage with that. Then this catcher. Yeah, he got great defense. Can't hit worth a flip. Batting 114. No surprise. He's a guaranteed out. He's literally like Mitre's cousin. what he is oh yeah I should fix this stuff uh, cuz uh, we're not gonna have Desmond versus righties I put the good one back in there you know good one stuff too and I'm gonna fix the lineup a little bit Yeah, Trevor's been so impressive. Like, he's been hitting the ball really well. I'm going to have him bat fifth. Then Goodwin, then Brett. Then here's, you know, here's the guaranteed outs right here. <laughs> Although Goodwin's kind of a guaranteed out. And then, let's see, lefties. Desmond will be in there. Oh, yeah, I have Trevor leading off first lefties, which is, that's that's why, especially by swinging the bat. Uh, 
really shouldn't be him in there. Too bad he can't play in the outfield. Just second or short. Same with him, right? Second, short, third. <clears throat> That would be my lineup. You know, if Brett had some speed, I'd let him lead off first righties. He just he's slow. Just like most first basemen. I think that's pretty good. Well, guys, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get me something to eat and watch the Yankees. Hopefully, they'll actually win, beat the damn Rays. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back on with some more MLB The Show. So, I'm, I'm glad, you know, I think I'm back. I think I'm back, you know? We're back on Hall of Fame. Things are starting to click. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, you guys want to see DeGrom. Yeah, I I'm curious how I'll fare against him. I'm going to assume I'm going to get destroyed. That would be rightfully so. We'll, we'll see. I'm I'm swinging hot bats right now, so that's definitely going to be like the ultimate test. So, uh, all right, guys, I'll, I'll be back on in like a couple hours or so. Like I said, I want to watch the game and get something to eat. So, yeah, take care, guys.